All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, just to remind you, I have my Skype open, so in case there is any Mohammedan, he would like to join us and tell us, maybe correct us in case we are wrong. Uh, you know, the Muslims, the, the Muhammadan, they have always their way of coming with things. But the second you ask them to prove it, they are out of the scenery. Uh, as you see the title, who is the author of the Quran? Uh, you know, the Muslim, they make nice graphic and, uh, you know, like light coming from the Quran. You know, if if I type robot Quran now and I search in images in Google, <clears throat> uh, you will find tons of images trying to present something like flower. There is a flower in the Quran. There is lights is coming from the Quran. There is a rosary in the Quran. And I wonder why even Muslims have a rosary. <laughs> and if you check the stones in it, you will find that there are 33, which is the age of Jesus. <laughs> 33 plus 3. Anyway. So, you know, all those images is trying to give you an impression and decoration and, you know, uh, the, this, uh, uh, even, even the pages, they have a frame. And, but the second you start reading this book, you will find that this book is hilarious, it's stupid. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't matter really how much decorative is it become. L look at the light is coming, you know, light. I don't know. I I thought the light would come from the Quran, not the light would come on the Quran. Uh, <clears throat> so all those graphic is just to make you believe that this is a holy book, you know. But here we go. I'm here live on air, and we challenge the Muslim to show us that it is holy, or have nothing anything to do with holy. You know, like when we say, uh, who, "Okay, who is the author of the Quran?" The Muslim they will say Allah. Okay. What is the proof that there is a God, his name is Allah, and he is the author of the Quran? And look here, you know, uh, if you notice, uh, there is a picture of the Quran, and next to it, there is a compass, and supposedly, it, and a map, you know, supposedly the Quran is a book of science. So who is a Muhammad and would like to join us and prove us wrong that this is a funny, stupid book, cannot be from God? Look at this. The Quran is an enlightenment of for mankind and a guidance and mercy <laughs> for people. <laughs> I mean, all, all those things together. Yeah, it's a mercy for people. You know, like we beat the women, we cut the head, we cut the hand if somebody stole an egg. And if you are a big thief like Muhammad, kidnapping women from their houses, <laughs> you are the good guy. And look at this guy, he have a heart on the Quran. So who is here? His heart is with the Quran. He would like to call us and show us how the Quran is ready from God. <clears throat> uh, before before we start, you know, somebody sent me an email, say, uh, Christian Prince, uh, you have a vision before that you saw Turkey have a big earthquake. It happened. I said, no, this is not what I saw. The, uh, the earthquake I saw in Turkey, it was really massive. I mean, really scary, massive. This is nothing. So this is not what I saw, you know. Yeah. I hope my 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 um, uh, my vision is wrong. But what I saw, it was really really scary. I saw the Earth moving like waves. You know, the waves like ocean, very massive, very 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 scary. So this is not what I saw. This is a small earthquake compared to what I saw. <clears throat> anyway, uh, and another uh, topic we know before we get some Muhammad in here, 
we hear lately in the news the Pope saying the Pope is making poopoo. You know, the Pope is making poopoo. And you know, here we don't differentiate between the Christians. We don't we don't divide the Christians, Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox, all is the same. Uh, but lately we have a, from all the churches uh, a trend, you know. Uh, you know, uh, trying to, you know, it sounds like they are trying to promote that it's okay to be uh, a sinner and to be a gay or to be, my friend, anyone who says such a thing, he is no Christian, doesn't matter who is he. He is a Catholic, he is a Protestant, he is Orthodox. Those are evil people trying to fight the Bible. We do not. The, the, the scriptures is between our hands. And we will not let the devil play with us. We are not going to have a moderate gospel. All right? We will not and we will never accept any. The, the Bible says it clearly. Let, let him be cursed, the one who preach other gospel. So this is not our gospel. We know what the gospel said. And anyone who says something, you know, uh, it's not biblical. He is antichrist, <clears throat> not as a person, but his teaching is a false teaching of an antichrist. So be aware and don't be foolish, and don't listen to those. This is why they are in the news, you know. Like you know, they are in the news for a reason. And look like the 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 previous pope. He died a week after this guy. He is out of the leech, and he start promoting you know uh, uh, stuff like this. So we stand against those evil ones and they don't present Christianity and the Bible is there and one can open it and you can see what the Bible say. You do not need me or the Pope or a bishop from any church. You have the book, my friend. You have the book of God. Anything else is false. All right. Now we go back to our topic and we will warn about this every day, you know, <clears throat> because they are tr trying to push it hard between us to make us believe in such a thing you know this edict he even said uh the you know like certain sin is not a crime so why god he burn cities <laughs> look like this uh, this abdul this abdul pope he is the same as as muhammad you know muhammad he teach the muslims he taught the muslims that all sin is forgiven in Christianity. No. In order to be forgiven, you know, uh, in Islam you do not need even just say shahada. Even if you die with your sin, you know, uh, as long as you don't associate with Allah, a different God, well, you know, you are fine. All right. If I show you the Quran, you will see this is what the Pope, the stupid Pope, liberal, you know, this is what happened when you have a liberal idiot in the chair. This guy, he have to go soon. I hope the, the Catholic, they will vote him out and get rid of him and send him to the zoo. Uh, if you go in the Quran, you will find the Quran giving an open license for sin, all kind of sin, doesn't matter what it is. All what Allah care for, you know, uh, is you know, uh, you know, just uh, worship Him. As long as you worship Him, you can do anything. In Christianity, you know. Let us make it simple and clear. This is chapter 4, verse number 116. Anything except associating someone with Allah is forgiven. In Christianity, you know. As simple as that. Isn't it Jesus said it's better for you to take your, you know, your eye Pluck it out, better than going to hell, 
to hell. Hmm? Yeah. Well, those people, they believe in God and they worship God and he was speaking to them. It's better for you to take your eye, destroy a part of your body, better than going to hell. So don't let those people fool you. They are, they are teaching Islam. They are not teaching Christianity. Islam is a religion, is a lousy religion. And the heaven of Allah is nothing but sex toys and sex. Men with men. Women with women. With the children. I mean, it's just a sex ground. Uh, do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? As you see, you know, as long as we are talking about the Quran cannot be from God, uh, the second you read the Quran, especially if you speak Arabic, you will see how stupid it is. Because he just said in chapter 4, verse number 116, Allah forgave all except the one who what? Will associate with him. But do Satan associate with Allah? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, and then he cursed Shaitan supposedly. You're like, <laughs> but hey, Muslims, here, who Allah is cursing here, by the way? Is it Shaitan? You know, I mean, this is how stupid the Quran. The Quran says Allah, He forgave anything except shirk. But according to Islam, Shaitan, he never commits shirk. <laughs> never. <laughs> and actually, he never even disobey Allah. Uh, because uh, when the Quran says that Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down, he ordered the angels. Shaitan is not an angel in Islam. <laughs> this is why I found the Quran is very laughable, very stupid, written by an ignorant man, uh, and you know it doesn't doesn't make any sense. Uh, CP, you sound not as usual, my friend. Uh, maybe you change your speakers. My voice is the same. Yeah. I eat uh, uh, today. I cooked yogurt and uh, meat. Have you ever eat it? Maybe that affect my voice <laughs> too much acid. So you know, Allah forgive all sin except the one who associate with him. But shaitan in Islam never associate with Allah. They never worship anyone beside Allah. In fact, the Quran confirm that shaitan, he worship Allah. You know, if you go here, and this is why you find that this Quran is a very stupid book. I mean, logically, it's against itself. Uh, the story, the order of the story is stupid, you know. Uh, everything there doesn't make sense. In chapter 15, verse number 39, Shaitan is worshipping Allah and call him my Lord. And as you see, Shaitan and Allah, they made an agreement. You can read it. Shaitan is a Muslim. It's in the front of you. You know, if Shaitan is saying, Oh my Lord, so Shaitan worshipping who? Allah. So is Shaitan is a bad person in Islam? No. So, you know, Muhammad is a very confused person you know, very silly, very stupid, to the point, in one hand, he blames shaitan for bad things, in the other hand, shaitan is a good person who is serving Allah, and even he made an agreement with Allah, and even Allah, he appointed shaitan to work against the people. And this is why we see that everything in this book is stupid. Uh... Yeah, my friend, you cannot have a Unitarian view. Unitarian view, 
You see, we are actually we are the Unitarian, even though we don't we, we call it a Trinity because Trinity is being Unitarian. We have one God. So the Unitarian view is it's not up to you to decide to decide what God can be. Same time, what is the problem if God is three person and one in the same time? Is he God? He can do, he can be, or he is just a design, you know, like you call Apple, you say, I want a phone with five cameras or one camera, not three cameras. So, you know, here, a human being, sometimes he, he's, a, he's a silly. He want to design God as he wish. If God, he said, he is spirit, then he is a spirit. If God came as a man, then he's a man. If God, he said, I am Christ, then he is a Christ. So it's not up to you. What if God, he says, he's a million God? <laughs> is it up to you to change him? So don't be silly and don't try to design God the way you wish. Because when you believe in him, you believe in the almighty God. And the word almighty mean nothing can make him any able to do or to be. If you say, it's impossible for God to be three and one. That's mean it's impossible for him to be God. Because simply, even the Bible says, nothing is impossible with God. So when you say, I have a view, you know, etc. This is your only view because you are looking from the, you know, like, you know, in the, in the old days, the lock used to hoover a hole, you know, like the, the old doors. There's a hole. You can look from it. And then from the hole, you see some portion of the room inside. So this is what you see, but the hole doesn't show you the whole picture. So stop looking from the hole. Try to open a window. Do we have any Muhammadan here? Oh. Oh, okay. I am a Muslim from Palestine. Okay, you won't answer the question. I know somebody is saying, let us see what this gentleman he want to say. <coughs> Invite your friends, and if you are a Muslim, feel free. Hello? Let me put the speaker. Okay. There we are. I'm sorry. It always. Where are we at here? All right, my friend. <clears throat> so, did you see the there title of our topic? I don't know. You're saying to, the to front, me. So we have complete privacy. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, you are, we are live on air. You know that, right? Always, always. Okay. Always. Yeah. So, uh, what you want to say to me, your imam? What he said? I don't know. Okay. Thank you for taking my call, as you always do. <sighs> I'm just a little, anyway, I'm going to stick to the point. I always go all over the place, and I'm not going to do that here. Okay, I called the imam. The imam was on vacation. This is my local imam. This is a guy that I pray to. I, you know, prayed fajr with. I prayed next to this guy. Okay, so I called him. I left him a voicemail. Then I called him again. He called me back and I asked him, you know, some pretty, you know, controversial stuff or stuff that he would never imagine a Muslim to ask. Like, why did Muhammad rape Sophia, lie to his wives? What, you know, I asked him like seven, six or seven questions like this, right? Mm -hmm. And he refused to answer me. No. I don't know. I told him, you know what? I, I told myself yesterday, like, I'm just done with religion. I don't care. Then I don't have to believe in a story. I don't have to believe in a people. I just believe in God, you know, because I'm just, I'm anxious. I've lost my mind. I don't think anybody really understands. I told I'm just with the religion. Then I know I had the dream of Christ. I felt him. And I, and I, somebody else described I, seeing him in a dream was like being electrocuted and that's how they felt. That's how it was for me. And it's just, I didn't dream of Buddha. I didn't dream of Muhammad. I didn't dream of, you know, anybody else that had a dream of Jesus. So I don't want to let this push me away from religion, you know? 
Okay. So what I'm we what, really what why, how I can how I can help you how how I can help you today? You know, we spoke before. I remember. And uh, like, did you came to a decision if Islam is false or is good? Islam is clearly false because if, okay. I mean, yeah. I just you know what I'm struggling with one thing mainly. If you could tell me what you think about it, mm -hmm. for example, in the Quran, like these quote unquote miracles. I know you don't think they're miracles. Like the temperature of the sun is five five thousand seven hundred and seventy eight degrees Kelvin. And then the word sun in the Quran appears the first time, and then the next time it does, there's 570, 5778 words between it, right? So the so the Muslims say this is a miracle, it's a miracle. Look at it, it's saying the temperature of the sun. How could Muhammad know this? So when you say that somebody's speaking of false gods, even if they prophesy and it comes true, is that what you're speaking of? Because I'm just really... Uh, I, you I know, know first of all, actions were bad. My friend, my, like, my, my friend, my friend. Uh, I'm really worked up. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm no, just cold. No, I'm outside. No, I'm in the car. No problem. You see, uh, most of the numbers the Muslims they provide of the Quran words uh, is false. As an example, uh, the word moon, not only the word sun, uh, all of them. The word the uh, all of them is a is a is a fabrication. Uh, you, if you, if you, you know, count carefully, how many times it's mentioned, and then they try to fix it. They say, oh, when it says the sun, not sun, you know, but sun is a sun, you know, it doesn't matter, it's sun or the sun, uh, or the moon, or uh, or not the moon, moon, or hilal, you know, but hilal is a moon. So, uh, you know, uh, those are a fabrication, and in the same time. Uh, you know the God who know this the temperature of the sun, which I don't I don't believe by the way. Even if scientists they say this is temperature, I mean how we know? I mean just from far distance we can know that I think it's impossible. But anyway, let us assume the scientists are correct in their uh, assumption, which is nothing but assumption. Uh, but the God of the Quran, the same God, he think the sun set in a muddy water, and he think that the sun goes every day from the east to the west. And so when the Muslim they try to to come with mathematical miracles, we laugh, you know, we laugh. Uh, it, I mean, the mathematic in the Quran is very funny. Like as an example, if you check the law of inheritance, you will die laughing. You know, I mean, uh, it's impossible to 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 make the 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 mathematics of the Quran work in inheritance. Uh, and in, like as an example, the Quran says. That the year for Allah is a twelve moon, twelve moon. But this is a false. This is a wrong year. Uh, you, you know that the Muslims when they what what is the word moon in the Quran? Do you know? Are you with me? Kamar, moon. Kamar, right? Kamar. Yeah, but there is other word actually. This is why the Muslims they lie when they count the numbers. Each time the word shahar is mentioned, this is moon, not month. The word shahar in the language today is used as a month because simply this is what we know. I mean, uh, uh, the word is not even Arabic. Uh, this is an Aramaic word and used in the Hebrew. Same word in Hebrew. Uh, shahar is a word mean moon. This is why you will see the Quran says, whoever of you witness the moon of Ramadan, the moon of Ramadan, not the month of Ramadan. You cannot witness a month. Mm, right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you whoever, whoever, whoever you actually is not right? even say, say witness. It says sight. So whoever of you sight the crescent moon. So uh, uh, this God who is claiming that the, the the perfect year is a twelve moon, he is wrong scientifically. It is false. Well, yeah, you know, it, it's part, okay, it's some of you, some of you that hangs on to that, right? Like, oh, but these miracles, you look for why your religion is the truth. But okay, uh, my, my friend, okay, I, okay, I, I don't, don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste your time or my time. Because if this is a miracle, then the Quran should say, well, look, we mentioned, uh, you know, did the Quran say that this is, this is, they're silliness. They are trying to match science with the Quran. They try to bend it. 
But as you see, the Quran cannot be a book of science because it it's full of stupid you know, stories where the sun set, where the sun rise, uh, the sun goes every day from the east to the west, uh, uh, the moon, uh, the moon have two the moon have two horns, uh, uh, the hail is coming from the sky from mountains in it, uh, the baby you know the sperm the women have a sperm coming from her ribs so either this is a book of science or this is a book of stupidity so now I can go and I I, I make a calculation as an example. Uh, all those numbers, by the way, made by someone, the Muslim themselves, they killed him. His name is Rashad Khalifa. Correct? I never read about that character. Yeah, he, but, they killed him. He, he was in Arizona because he had to delete some verses from the Quran. Oh, the in order guy to that wrote that. I'm sorry. I thought he was from the Salaf or something like this. No, no, no. Rashad Khalifa is a person who was living in the USA. He have a PhD, right. he have a PhD I think, in uh, uh, chemical or something, you know. So uh, even uh, did that, he uh, used his uh, uh, like uh, calculation, etc. But all is a fiction. And then well, the Muslims. The I, I, I just want to. I'm sorry to cut you off. I don't. You're not going to waste my time. I wanted to call you. It's always an honor. I don't want to waste your time. You're not wasting my time. I, you know, why do you think the Imam doesn't want to answer my questions on the phone? When I asked him about some Shia stuff, he asked, answered me on the phone when I called before. He wants me to come in. He said, oh, I'll answer your questions. Like, I'm starting to see that without lies, Islam dies. Because he froze when I asked him these questions. I said, why Muhammad uh, did wudu in a puddle with dead dogs and period blood? Why Muhammad did this? Why Muhammad did, did that? Yeah, when, this is science. He said, oh, and he, that's that's sorry. science. That is science because the because Muhammad said that water is always a pure. Here we go, science. No, is that no, science? No, I'm just, thinking of, I'm just saying the the masjid leader. Do you? I mean, obviously he's a. Coward, no, I know, I know, but, but I mean, when you ask him, uh, you know, uh, what what Muhammad did? Muhammad he take a shower with dead in in with dead dogs and win blood from blood from period, right? So right. Uh, Muhammad he says water is always a pure and nothing make it impure. But a second ago, we were talking about science, <laughs> you know. Right. So you're saying it's ironic to even yeah. so, consider so the that Muslim, the, you know, the, the Muslims, they live in hypocrisy, and they don't want to see the reality that all the fiction they are trying to come with as numbers is not even exist in the Quran. And any Muslim can call me right now, and we can laugh, you know. And actually, not only not, not only that, not only that, you see, uh, uh, the the Quran. Uh, According to the Muslims, not to me, chapter of Al Ahzab used to be equal to the chapter of Al Baqarah. So the chapter of Al Ahzab, that's mean more than 211 something verses are missing. So, how many times the word uh, sun or moon is mentioned in that chapter <laughs> and they are gone? So, uh, the, the, uh, most, okay. most of okay. the Quran, most of the Quran is, is not even exist. But when you are bankrupt, you try. To make it, uh, to make it scientific, like the uh, uh, the iron, Allah He sent, He said, we send down the iron to mankind, but Allah He sent down the iron after the mankind is exist, not before. That's what that's what, what science says. Science says like some of the crust of the earth have iron coming from meteors, but not all of it. The magma is all of it is full of iron, and even our blood is full of iron. So if we don't have a blood, actually, if we don't have an iron, we we die immediately. We get anemia and we yeah, die. I, I want to say this. I'm yeah. going to say this live on air. I want to say this right now. I experience now what Christians experience because I defend Christianity <laughs> and I'm questioning Islam on certain, you know, social media sites. And I see they disrespect Jesus and they say, You're, you know, what do you want to do? You want to worship this guy? And they're calling like, you see it from the outside looking in and then you see like man this is really messed up like you're immediately outcasted and whatever but you know as far as the unitarianism brother like i want to say do you would you consider them believers because i want to say they're they're accepting the son they're accepting the father but they're saying they're completely separate well uh you know for me anyone who don't agree with the teaching of Sorry. christ you know he is not christian because it's not, it's not uh it's not I choose what I believe in. So either you accept the whole thing or you don't accept. So accepting the Son, how you accept Him, the Son, but you don't accept Him from God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So either they believe in the tree 
all you believe is just in one. Just in a branch. Okay, that's yeah. a good way. Yeah. yeah, because I wanted to say that, okay, like, as far as, you know, the Trinity, I, I don't know. The same guy that I, I talked to this Christian guy, he said it's the same way, like, you can't question how God manifests himself kind of thing. But then I question that why are there Unitarians in the first place? Do they look at the Trinity as heresy, or is it the other way around? No, they are. They are the because they are the one who came with this. You know, uh, Jesus never, never said such a thing. I mean, we have. You see, before I start today, I was saying we have the scriptures. We don't have. We don't follow a priest or a bishop or a pope. So if right. one of them he make a poo poo, we say to him, "You are making poo poo." You know, we don't compromise. So the Bible is so clear from the first page in the Bible, it says God and his spirit, as simple as that. And then God, he came to Abraham as a man, that, as simple as that. And I Jesus guess, and Jesus says before Abraham, I am. And Abra I just, Abraham is so my day. I, I, I was so, just going to mention that. That's what I hang on to because I, I'm like, okay, but you said he came in the Old Testament as a, um, and everything you say is true and from the sources that he came to him as a man. So and it's funny, well, it's not funny, but I saw a video where, uh, you know, the Shamsi guy, the, you know, the guy, you know, the thing, the, the Morocco? guy, he's, a, he's pinging the speaker's corner, uh -huh. he's laughing with the Jewish guy, they're laughing together at a Christian guy, hmm. they're saying, look at you worship a man. So it's almost like the Muslims, like, they really hate the Jews, but then they want to team up with the Jews against the Christians, but then they curse the Jews. Yeah, but you know, Christians. isn't it, isn't it the Bible says that God, he came to Abraham as a man? So this Jew is an idiot, the same as this Samsi, you know. But isn't it, right. isn't it Allah Himself? Allah Himself, you know. According the Muslims who they are keep talking about Allah, nothing like Allah. Allah is not a man. Well, there's any proof Allah is not a man? Actually, the Muhammad he says he copy exactly what the Book of Genesis says. He said that Allah, He created Adam on His image. Is that correct? Yes. If you go yeah. right now, if you go right now and search for this, you know, you will find that this is exactly taken from the Bible. Word by word. Letter by letter. So, okay. okay. Uh, so there's you know, no orthodox Christians that because I, okay, so like like what about the thing when they said the Holy Spirit doesn't come from the sun? So, like, who believes that the Holy Spirit comes from the sun? What do you mean, Kazi? Which, come from which the sun? Christians believe that, because I know that, like, the Orthodox strictly don't believe, they only, uh, maybe I'm getting this wrong, and I'm I'm always sure when I speak of things, but this is, I'm a little unsure, that's why I'm asking. Hmm. Um, don't the Orthodox reject the notion that the Holy Spirit c comes from the sun? No, my friend, the the, the Lord, Does when the he said, oh, hold on. No, oh, no, okay. It's not about it come from who. It's the the Holy Spirit is a, is a person exists by itself. But the when when the when Jesus said, "I will leave and I will leave with you. I will not leave you alone. I will leave the Comforter with you." You know, that is the Spirit of God. So I will. I will. So when when we say the uh, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is a is a is a uh, is not the Son. Is not the same person. So I'm leaving, but I will not leave you alone. The spirit, the comforter, will so be with you. The, what is the hypostasy? Like, what is that? That's the essence, right? The Greek word for like the hypostasy. Uh, you know, I'm I'm not a person really who speak a Greek, so to 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 go in detail. No, no, I don't care for the word. I'm trying to understand yeah. it. So, so this God is one. You believe God is one. God is one, one. Three person. Three person. He manifests himself in three way. Three person. Uh, and the, the so man, the man, the dream, spirit, and the father. Huh? When Jesus saw me in my dream, that's God. Because he didn't say, he didn't say anything. I said, "Can you make me strong?" Like you looked right at me, and I never felt anything like that in my life. And I woke up, and I never been so happy. And I told my mother this, and I just want to say for the record that she was saying, she was kind of raising her eyebrows too that the guy wouldn't even answer a simple question on the phone. And then she said, "I really respect Christian Prince that he." He'll take all the questions you want. And I said, because he works for the Lord, but if it was the imam and I wanted to donate some money, then he would have, you know, it's okay, man. It's fine. Yeah, you know, my, my friend. Thank you, you for taking my questions. I don't want to take up your whole podcast. Yeah. But you, you, know, you, you, have, you have a dream. But for me, I don't believe in God because of a dream. 
but no, if, of course but not. Uh, of course. but uh, but you know uh, uh, simply uh, if you are seeking the truth and you know you are intelligent you read you educate yourself you don't just follow people blindly and if you have a feeling in your heart uh, i think that all will help you together to find out the truth and the dream it may be uh, god giving you a hand uh, but i don't know what you saw so i cannot judge it might be from god it might be not i don't know but for me i don't believe uh, in 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 God because of a dream. Uh, no, of course. Yeah, of course. I, I, I believe for many reasons. And uh, uh, all those reasons, they come together to make a solid belief. Not not one thing, you know. It's not just, okay, just I saw a dream. But anyway. It's just funny you see Jesus in a dream and you beg your all-powerful God, please, I'm losing faith here. I would like a dream. I mean, can you show me something here? But then yeah. you don't get it. So that's a little... Yeah, but, okay. uh, but you know, my... Uh, but then uh, you call your imam, and your imam won't answer a simple question, but okay, Islam's the truth. <laughs> yeah, you see, for me, Islam is very easy to, to, de to debunk, and the existence of Allah is proven to be false for a very simple reason. There is no God can be God, and he is stupid in the same time. I mean, the whole Quran is a stupid book, you know? No Quran. Same time, like if you read the Quran, no. the first thing you will you will find that this God he is suffering from flight of thoughts. You cannot find one chapter in the Quran is consistent with anything. You know, like you go in Genesis, Genesis is speaking about you know Genesis, step by step, step by step. You no, go in the Quran. Okay, what is the beginning? Where is the end? You tell me. <laughs> It's not what, even in order. What is yeah, the I beginning? I, 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 I challenge any Muslim to tell me what is the beginning. What is that? I mean, I mean, and, and, and what is the information? What is the information? <laughs> what is the knowledge? Where is the education? Nothing. This God, he jumped like a monkey from place to, to place. You know. I want to say for the record right here, right now, that I've noticed that I'm experiencing that. You know, let's say, Christian Prince, if I wanted to become a Buddhist, not, the Muslims are not going to have a reaction like this. If I want to become Hindu, if I want to become this or that. When you, a Muslim, wants to learn about Jesus from a non-Muslim narrative, oh, they want to raise hell, you know? So it's just, you got to look at everything. You got to look at the essence of how people treat you now when you're studying Christianity. You got to see, how do I feel when I think about Muhammad versus Jesus? So you got to look at so multifaceted, right? You got to look at all these things. Mm. But uh, as I always say, you're a big part of the journey. I'll let you go. It's been wonderful. Um but I mean, as always, your advice to just start with the Bible and like, how do you get baptized? You just go to any church and just say, I would like well, to. First, first you, you accept the Messiah. You read the Bible carefully. Uh, you understand, uh, you know, uh, uh, and I advise you to read the Bible first before you accept, right? Uh, understand it carefully. And then when you feel that it's time, you feel, you know, just not just, uh, I understand. You feel that it's time for you to, uh, you know, to become a Christian. Uh, you know, then you find a church and you do baptism. You know, and baptism oh. simply you are going to be born. You see, we were talking about the Unitarian and with the Trinity. You will be born again by what? The Spirit. It's there. <laughs> so oh, okay. how how they say how they say it is not exist. You know, that's silly. So right. you will be born again with the Spirit, which means the Spirit of God will be you know accompany you and you. And in your journey of your life, you are born already, right? But you, this is why we say born again. But there born is no again. human being. There is no human being will be born twice, you know. But with God, you will be born again because now you will have a journey with the Holy Spirit, and 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 the Holy Spirit will will help you uh, to fight to resist uh, uh, all kind of evil things around us, which we see every day, okay. you know. Okay, yeah, because I want to thank you very much. And because, you know, I, I grew up with everybody. I was friends with everybody. But um, oddly enough, I really have a lot of friends um, from all different Christian, you know, whatever. I know you guys are all Christian, you know, fight about this and sect, that, whatever. Um, so I already told a lot of them that I want to, you know, talk to them more and kind of learn more from them. You know, because they're people I trust I grew up with for 20, 25 years. So, um yeah, just thank you for everything you do. Like, you know, you're just working every day to, you know, wake people up. I appreciate it. So. You're welcome, my friend. I will be happy soon to hear good news from you. Thank you, man. Take thank care. you. I'm, I'm really being patient, so thank you. Take okay, care. Bye -bye. thank you. Bye-bye.
Yeah. During the time we were talking, uh, a person, he volunteered to speak about the Pope. He said the following. He said what Pope Francis had was compassion and empathy. <laughs> empathy with what? <laughs> hey, my friend, you and your Pope, you know, I mean, that is a shame even to say empathy. What empathy? I mean, the book is so clear, my friend. What empathy? Your Pope is a poo-poo. Sorry to say. Literally is a poo-poo. Like Muhammad. Empathy. Instead of rebuking people for their sin, now we are saying it's okay. Oh, it's a, it's a sin. It's not a crime. So why God destroy cities and burn them? You know, God, he kicked Adam for an apple from heaven. Is that correct, guys? Is that correct? This Pope is like Muhammad. The Quran says, Allah forgive all kind of sin except worshiping with him. So go, be homo, sleep around, kill, rape, yeah, you know, etc. For the sake of an apple, apple, Adam and Eve and you and me, we are out of heaven. And the apple does not present an apple. Do you think God is so cheap? Like, hey, you ate my apple. The apple present, it doesn't matter how small your sin, you are cast out of heaven. You need to repent. You are going to hell. So when you say to me, he's showing empathy, I laugh at him. He is a false teacher. This guy, he is bringing shame. And the Catholics should get rid of him as soon as they can. Vote him out. Strike by millions against him. Hippie. This is a, you know, this is a this is a guy from the Democratic Party of Joe Biden. You know, what what he what, what this guy is talking about? We have the book in the front of us. We do not need a hippie uh, pope. The poop, the papa. What a scumbag. Uh, the Bible say it was a fruit. Here we go. Another person, now he corrected me. It says a fruit. It's not an apple. Okay, my friend, it was a banana. Are you happy now? <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> sometimes, you know, people, they are really silly. Like, this, this is really the topic. The topic is about an apple. The Bible says it's a fruit. <laughs> no, I insist it's an apple. <laughs> <laughs> you know some people they have a brain I don't know I don't know how their brain works it depends on what they eat I don't know I mean maybe they're out of charge maybe too much cucumber I'm not sure but anyway the point is that when you are committing sin you are committing crime so when this guy he said it's not a crime this is opposing every sentence in the Bible this guy is a fraud. You know me. You know, for me, I'm the last one who speak. I'm not speaking against the Catholic people. I'm, actually, I never saw a Catholic person did not say this guy is an idiot. All the emails I receive from Catholic people, they say this guy, he is a scam. Wash your hands from him. You better get, as soon as the previous Pope, he died, You'll notice this guy changed. Look like he is waiting for him to die. What an idiot. No, he said, he said. Don't tell me he did not say. No, he said, he said. He said. You know, he said that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they are trying to, like those people, they are trying to duct tape the Pope the same as the Muslim did duct tape Muhammad. So, the, the guy, he is, you know, he, he's leaking poo poo from everywhere, and now we are going to duct tape him. He did not say that. Read it. 
He said it's not a crime. He said actually to criminalize it, it's a sin. So God commit a sin. Because when God, he make it considered as a crime, that's mean God himself commit a sin. This is what your stupid Pope Muhammad saying. Anyway, do we have any Muslim here? You see here, we don't compromise and we don't care. We are talking about who and what is the topic. Our book is our guideline. Anything is coming out of the book is not from God. Every sin is a crime against God. This is why I mentioned to you the apple and the smart one says it's a fruit. So if God, he cast you out of heaven for disobeying him for eating an apple or a banana, so Amber will be happy. Uh, what will do to you if you do something bigger? <laughs> Hypocrite people. Uh, but by the way, not only him. I don't want. I, I want to be fair. There is people who they are Protestant, do are doing the same garbage. There is people, you know, a lot of uh, you know hippie, you know. But those are not Christians. There's no. There's no question about that. You, from their fruits, you shall know them. It's not about saying Jesus and we worship Jesus. No. When you promote sin and you have empathy with sin, what empathy? I'm a sinner, I'm a sinner. I need to be rebuked and I need to be forgiven. What empathy? <laughs> oh boy. Uh -uh. You know, so why, why you guys here are making fun of Allah? Why? I mean, Allah, he says, anything, any sin, be, uh, I advise you, or all of you, to become a Muslim then. Because the Quran says, any sin, except shirk, Allah forgive. You don't even need to repent. You do not need to repent. But this is not what the Bible says. The Bible, the, the Messiah, he said. And do you have better than a Messiah to listen to? Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord. Okay. So that's mean people. There's many, like the Pope, they say Jesus is Lord. Hmm? But they don't do the will of the Father. And what is the will of the Father? You know it. <laughs> so instead of saying, saying, rebuke yourself, repent, he's saying it's okay, it's okay, it's uh, not a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little sin. <laughs> what a scumbag. Anyway. You know, uh, history brought us many st in many scumbags. Uh, they can be the Muhammad, can be the Pope, it doesn't matter. Always we stand against the false teachers, no matter who. And the Lord said, from their fruits, you shall know them. I don't understand CP trying to say Catholic is good, but Pope is bad. Uh... You see, the Pope is an individual. He's not the Catholic. He's a person. He will live for a few years. He will die. They will replace him. The same as you elect a president. He can be corrupt. He can be false. He can be good. Are you saying... <laughs> no, we don't say even the Catholic or the Protestant or the Orthodox are good. We say no one is good. Only God. That's number one. Number two. There's a huge difference between uh, trying your best to be good and trying your best to be bad. So when a person, he tried to defend bad, 
He is extremely bad, which means he is in the sight of the devil. And you will find people like this Pope from all churches, Protestant, Orthodox, and Catholic. Not only him, but because he is famous, you know, I mean, whatever he say is like uh, the fart of Hamad, always going to be in TV. But there's many of them, they do that. But the one who say the opposite, we never heard of them. Right? We never heard of them. Because CNN will not be interested. <laughs> but the majority, they are against what this guy is saying. Because we know what the Bible is saying. <clears throat> yeah, this is why we say that we speak about individual and God will judge individuals, not a group. So God will not bring Catholic alone, Protestant alone, uh, Orthodox alone, no. From their fruit you shall know them, the fruit of every individual. So when God, he call you, he will not ask you, trust me, if you are Catholic or Protestant or Orthodox, he will ask you for your fruits, not speeches. Anyway, do we have any Mohammedan here would like to join us? Anyone? In fact, you know, we, all of us, we knew, if not the Catholic, all of you, you will become Abdul long time ago. If not the Catholic who did the crusade to fight back, all of you, you will be the slaves of Allah. So there's a huge difference between people who they spin, spin, they give their life so you can live, and someone like this guy sitting in a chair, people kissing his hands, and the Holy Pope. Hello. Those are the real Christians, not this guy. Anyway, do we have any Mohammedan here? You know, there is a, a, a attack start in Christianity long time ago with teaching history in Europe about the crusade, that they are bad. But just do, do a little check, you will find that if not the crusade, there's no Europe. If not the crusade, there's no Europe. All of you will be under the shoes of Erdogan by now. Uh, a Muslim saying, Jesus is a human. How can you believe in a human as God? That is a very difficult thing, my friend. Is your God is a human, Mr. F? Is your God is a human? Because, I don't know, I heard that your God is an octopus. So is it okay to believe in God as an octopus? What about you call me and tell me why your God Allah is an octopus? And if I'm wrong about how he looked like, please correct me. How Allah looked like. Look at this false religion. Allah have two hands, but he's not a human. He have two eyes, but he's not a human. He have five fingers in each hand, but he's not a human. He have two feet, but he's not a human. He have an ass, but he's not a human. He have a face, but he's not a human. He have a back, but he's not a human. He have shoulders, but he's not a human. He have two right hands, but he's not a human. So what he is, a monkey? Would you like to help me? Huh? I'm just waiting. I mean, human stems are really weird. So all those are description of a human, and then he's not a human. Why he have two hands? Allah knows best. Okay, why you have two hands, two legs? Allah knows best. Why you have five fingers in each? Allah knows best. Okay, why do you have, do he have a toes? I like to have a God with toes. Is he toesy? <laughs> See, when the Muslim they ask question, they never ask themselves the same question. For us, yes, God can be a human. Why not? If God cannot be human, then he cannot be God. If there's anything can stop God from being as he wish. So why you call him God? What if God decide to come as a cloud? Can you stop him? Abdul. Abdul is philosophy 
is their best way to philosophy. Never discuss logic with Abdul because he will beat you so easy. You know, it's logical in, in Islam. Everything is like logical in Islam, you know. Yes, Allah, he, he have two hands and both of them they are on the right side. Why? He have a birth defect or something? Do we have any Muhammadan would like to call us? Except uh, they just complain. He can make me a handicap. I don't know. The Muslim they were striking against burning the Quran just a week ago, less than a week after Allah gave him an earthquake. Is that the one who made them handicap? The same country was going crazy against burning the Quran, the same towns. And now they have an earthquake. Where was where is Allah? Is that how Allah He pay back those who go by tens of thousands in the street against burning the Quran? He destroyed their cities. And as long as Allah can make me handicap, what does that mean? I will look like Muhammad. And what what's wrong with being handicapped? Is that a curse? I mean, look look at their stupidity. So based on what you just said, handicap is cursed by Allah. Evil. Secondly, my friend, I'm 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 farting at your God, Allah, since I was a kid. I mean, your God is so slow, man. And, and so, like, if I die tomorrow, Allah Akbar, Allah He killed them. <laughs> You know, after all what I did, I would die anyway. I mean, you would. Uh... <laughs> I don't even get sick, my friend. <laughs> what about Muhammad? How Muhammad he died? Maybe you think Allah he cursed him. He made him a handicap. I can show you the reference. Muhammad he can't even go to the bathroom. He can't even. He can't even pray. The few years, the last few years of his life, the guy is not handicapped, he's dead. So do you think Allah, he did that to him? Actually, just to show you how stupid this book is, Allah, he made that same threat to the Christian trying to scare them, Aka Muhammad. So Muhammad, he told them, believe in me, okay? Before Allah, he erased your eyebrows and your eyes and your mustache and your head will be came backward, forward. Like, what the heck? And then the Christian, they said to him, hey, Muhammad, we fought at you and at your God. Let us see if this will happen. And until now, we are waiting. Have you ever heard of someone, he was a Christian? Remember, you don't, don't tell me this is in the judgment day. He said the same as we did to the people of the of the book, the Jews who broke the Sabbath, which means this is before the judgment day. They broke the Sabbath. Second day, they found themselves monkey takbir. Science. Nothing happened to the Christian. Read it. It was an empty threat. Chapter 4, verse number 47. And by the way, why this story is exist in the chapter of the women? I mean, look how the, how this book is organized, brother. Okay, where do we find this story in the chapter of the woman? You know, like if I say to you, the chapter of the women, what do you expect? A chapter about women. Correct? You open the chapter of women, you'll find most of it about hummus, shish kebab, Christians, Jews, uh, the moon. What is the women? Oh, it says in the beginning, there's a few verses about women, beat them. This is a book of God. Do we have any Muhammadan here who would like to join us and tell us something useful? Hmm? Uh, Lili, Lili, Dawa, Lili Dawa made a video brothers and sisters Alhamdulillah the person who burned the Quran he, his funeral was yesterday like you stupid idiot they are lying to you you are fooling you you idiot and Abdul do you want to challenge me I can burn the Quran tomorrow honestly tell Ali Dawa if he accept the challenge I will burn the Quran I will give Allah 24 hours you know what 36 hours 
after I burn the Quran. Not only I will burn the Quran, I will step on it. I can do more stuff. I don't want to say, you know, it's not, not nice, you know. Yeah, there's ladies here. But uh, uh, I can do all those things, and I can challenge Allah to do anything of what those people say. I mean, Al-Qurmati, Al he destroyed the Kaaba. He took the black stone, he make it a pupu stone. He screamed in the middle of the Kaaba saying, Hey Allah, where are you? And Allah did not do anything. And then the Muslim, to get the black stone, they bribed the guy. They gave him money to get the black stone back. And now we don't, you don't have the black stone. You don't have the black stone. Do you have it? Actually, one of the proofs that Islam is a fraud is the black stone. Not only because a stone is a stone and you kiss it like pagan. No. Let me show you why. Allah, he said, Aka Muhammad, that the black stone is going to witness for you had entered the day, like in the day of judgment. It's going to have two eyes, a mouth, etc. Very funny. But then if we go in the stone, which is going to stay into the day of judgment, we find that there's no stone left. They cheat. Liars, everything is wax. <laughs> Look, it's a little tiny rock in the middle of the brown wax, brother. What Allah could not pre prevent the black stone from becoming pieces. How many pieces we have? Let us count them one, two, see, hamburger, hamburger. So how this black stone is going to witness for us, but nothing left of it? Can't Allah keep his promise? Look, look, let us count it. Are you good in counting or you are literate like your prophet? Abdul, just try to focus with me. Just repeat after me. You do not need to count. I know you are, you are illiterate like your prophet. One, two, three, four, Five, six tiny ones. Chuku, 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 chuku. That's it. That's the black stone. It is holy, sent by Allah. If Allah could not even, I can put, uh, you know, if uh, you know what, if it was a piece of ice, I can put it in the Ar Arctic. Is going to stay until now. Ice, not a stone. This God could not even prevent his stone from being demolished, become so pieces small, and which means most of it is gone. We can say maybe not only 99.9% .9 is gone. I mean, the stone was so big. Look what happened. Hmm. John said, uh, Paul Francis, he said, God the Father does not disown his people. That is false, my friend. God will send you to hell. That is a fraud talk. That's against the Bible. Isn't it God who burns cities? Paul Francis said, <laughs> yeah, stupid people. Did you even read the book? <laughs> Black stone kisser. Everybody have a stone. You know. God don't disown his people. No, he disowned them. He will send you to hell. He will make you a barbecue. Don't fool yourself. Uh, do we have any Muhammadan would like to say anything? If you are a, if you are a person who is politically cor you know, correct, you are in the wrong place. Here we smash you. Here, we will smash you with your own logic and your own stupidity. You know, God loved the world, so He sent His only begotten Son. But does it mean He love you to break His command? If you break it, you go to hell. You don't understand what God love mean. Love doesn't mean to become a monkey jumping from place to place. You are not a monkey. But you choose to be one. Do we have any Muhammadan?
anyone if you're a Mohammedan by the way I can let you kiss the black stone anyone nobody who is a Muslim would like to call us and give us any proof that the Quran is coming from God I mean you know I look at the Quran I find it very funny and very silly very stupid uh, actually let me ask you a question Muslims Wh which which wh where the Quran start if you open the Quran page number one is that really how the Quran is uh, like start huh I mean look look at this look you ask the Muslims who okay is that the first uh, verse of the Quran they say no no this is how it is today in the Quran we change location or quite change location uh, because the it's better huh? so you are fixing Allah uh, the, so guys the Muslim they change the chapter uh, locations because Allah is stupid <laughs> look at this uh, Al-Fatiha okay, Muslims you type in the top Al-Fatiha what does that mean I mean, if a Muslim, all of you don't speak Arabic, what does that mean? Hmm? Opening? But this is not the first verse of Muhammad you receive. So how this, so are you saying to me, Muslims, Allah, he gave you the opening at the end? Or he was late? Hmm. In the name of Allah, the most be beneficent, the most merciful. Who is talking Allah? Have you ever heard of a story? How this is, can be God talking in the name of Allah? You see, if the angel saying in the name of Allah, that makes sense. But the Muslim, they say, no, the one is talking is Allah. So Allah, he sent the message to Muhammad saying in the name of Allah. My name Muhammadan. This is why we say this is all the book is stupid. Uh, Allah He says all praise and thanks to Allah. Allah He's saying all praises and thanks to Allah. You know, if if the Quran Muhammad he was trying to make a, 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 a verses like when they asked Jesus how to pray, he said, pray like this, our Father art in heaven, right? So Muhammad trying to copy. But the, he, the edict, he forgot that this is supposed to be Allah now talking. He's not saying to pray like this. So he, in, in order to fix it, he should add, pray like that, pray like this. Do we have any Muhammadan? Maybe, maybe. Uh, don't worry about the 105,000 subscribers. Actually, each time we go to uh, 80, 90,000, YouTube usually to delete my channel. So <laughs> we might go to zero soon. Just wait. <laughs> and I don't care. You see, I don't care really if I have 10 subscribers or I have a million. At the end of the day is delivering the message, being truthful with people and sharing without being politically correct without fear those people they tried everything to force me not to say things but that doesn't work with me my friend as you see we cannot have donation here YouTube cannot don't allow me all Muslims in have you ever seen a Muslim they took a donation from his channel never never even the one who promote jihad against uh, West West and uh, even the one who says kill uh, like uh, Ali Dawa, he says, we are watching you, you know, like, yeah, according to Islam, you should be killed to oppose a prophet. They refuse even to take the video down. I cannot have a donation. All of this is to force me to say things in agreement with their guideline. My friend, we say things in agreement with our guideline, which is the Bible. We are not for sale. 
Do we have any Muhammadan? By the way, before I forget, guys, did you, you, you know that we posted our book for free in Ethiopian language, correct? And I think this language is spoken in many, lang many countries around, like Eritrea, etc. So if you know a friend, we posted the link in YouTube, we posted in Patreon, it's for free as a gift from me. And we pray the Lord will provide us and make us able to give for free more. But trust me, nothing is for free. Nothing is for free, but I give it for free. <laughs> what is the metaphor for the chapter of Muhammad White and Pitt? <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, you know, this is how you need to remember that you as a Christian, fear nobody in what they will say and how they will judge you. You fear only to be judged by God, not by man. The second you start compromising and agreeing with the word, you are of this world. You are from it. You are doomed. Be careful. When you have a discussion with somebody, don't compromise and become a rabbit. Say it as it is. Actually, not yesterday, not today, yesterday. I went to a place, you know, like it's a nice place. Uh, you know, like it's sunny, uh, nice weather. Like you know, in the winter when you have sun, that's a that's a blessing, right? So there's a guy next to me, and he, uh, you know, I mean, he he left all the places and he came and he sat close to me, and then in, and then he started talking on the phone, and he keep talking, keep talking. Uh, yeah, let me talk to this guy. Let me talk to that guy. Let me talk. So I, you know, I decide to move away from this person. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm trying just to relax, you know, like enjoying the sun, which is something you don't have always in the in the in the summer, right? So, and then the same guy, I moved to a different place. The same guy, he went to a, it's in the park. So uh, he he moved to a, a, like an area have too many people. And they were playing really very wild, uh, you know, sick music. This guy, he have you know his phone. He put <laughs> he put the Christian songs. <laughs> Remember, at the beginning, I did not like him. You know, I found him like, I mean, he's like you know intruding in somehow. Like you know, he came, sat next to me, speaking the phone nonstop, and I don't want to hear any conversation. And then he put his phone. And he put uh, Christian music. Then those people they start looking at him, and they put and they have a they have a big speaker, you know, they have a like a stereo. So his phone is nothing compared to what they have. But imagine the phone music made them back up and go. <laughs> so I came to him. <laughs> I said that was a that was a good trick. <laughs> he said, "I know they cannot take it. The devil inside them, you know. I, I know they will back up. You know the whole the whole songs is if for this is dirty drugs, you know, crazy stuff. A little song in little radio. He did not say anything. He did not speak to them. You know, he did not uh, like uh, debate with them. But this guy obviously is a Christian." And I am the one who did not like him in the beginning. So I sit with him. And he said, I said to him, you know what? You were sitting next to me in the other place. You know, I don't know if you remember. He said, yeah, yeah, I saw you. And I said, I moved away because you were talking too much. And I got bothered. I said, it's okay. I understand. I said, but look, now I'm coming to you to talk to you. Isn't it funny? He said, it's okay. And, and you know, like, uh, yeah, but that means, are you a Christian? I said, yeah. So like, we walked together. We, st we spoke for some time. And all this time, he have his phone and he have a Christian music in his phone. Uh, so, 
you can you can fight the devil even in a very simple way he did not even open his mouth he's just playing a Christian music worshiping the Lord from his phone uh, and you know it was it was an example for me that I don't judge people by five ten minutes I mean the guy he's talking to everybody Okay, let me talk to uh, etc. And then, oh, hey, how are you, etc. And you know he have a he have a countryside accent, which is hard for me even to understand sometime. But this guy is so busy in the phone, like he's talking like maybe to I don't know the whole tribe maybe. But in the beginning, you judge a person. Uh, he's not dressing like you know eh, normal, but not you know sound like a poor guy. He doesn't sound like etc. And he doesn't sound like a believer. I mean, I don't know. I never expect him to be what what he what he did. But then it turned to be that this guy is even smarter than me. He did what I never thought about. He went between them. He sat just the table next to them. He put the Christian music, and he is singing with the phone, loud with his voice. Wonderful man. <laughs> Welcome, our friend from Bangladesh. Good to have you. Uh, no, no, not. I don't know what kind of accent. You know, for me, all accent is accent, and my accent is different accent. <laughs> oh boy! Uh, do we have any Mohammedan? Until now, we have zero Mohammedan try to call us. Hmm? Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan when I tell us something good about the Quran? I mean, we find this book cannot be from God. What is? I mean, look at this book. Find me one chapter in this book is not like okay, Al Baqarah. Why the Baqarah is called Al Baqarah? Allah He wanted. Oh, sorry, Musa's. Moses, uh, a Jewish guy got killed. And then the Jews, they come to Moses. They said, Shalom, Moshe. Habibi, Moshe. We have uh, Jack Shalom got killed by somebody, Moshe. We need to find who killed him, Moshe. So uh, can you ask uh, Allah, Moshe? So Moshe, he went to Allah. Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. Allah, he answered. First of all, I told you don't call me. Uh, Moshe uh, said, "It's uh, 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 who, who, who is talking? I told you, don't go me late at night. What the heck? You know, this is sound like Zakarnaik. I called Allah. Uh, who, who is, who is, I, I called Allah. Is that the correct number? Exactly. Now tell me, Fat, and tell me why, and why you are calling me. Uh, uh, there is a guy, he was killed, and we know, know who killed him. So can you help us? Very easy. Very simple. We have, we know, we have to find the cow. What? What? You need to find the cow. Oh, okay. And the cow have to be the specific thing. Oh, okay. And then, you know, you throttle the cow. Okay, we, we, we start the cow. And then what happened? What what does this have to do with the dead guy? And then you bring the cow. And you start beating the hell of the guy with the cow. What, what, what? We, build, we beat the guy with the dead cow? Exactly. We, we, uh, what, we want to know who killed him. Listen to me. I don't have time. Because I'm going to eat the most. What, what, what? I'm going to eat the most. You eat hummus. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I, I, that makes sense why you are so in rush. Uh, so what we will do with the cup? Beat the guy with the cow, and then the guy will come up and we will tell you what killed him. Oh, what the heck? So we beat the guy with the cow, and then he will tell us who killed him? Exactly. And now don't call me again. So Moses, he went, and he brought a cow. Chip, 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 chip. Chop it. He got the penis. I don't know, maybe the tail. Some Muslims, they say the tail. I don't know. And he start beating the hell of the dead guy. The dead guy, like, what the heck? You know, like he opened, bing, 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 and his eyes came, and like he's alive. He sat down, like in a zombie. Uh, and Musa said to him, who killed you? He said, uh, 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 beat him more, beat him more. Who killed you? Uh, his name, he stopped. Because you don't have, you need to charge him. The beating will charge him beat him again and then he gave them the name of the guy who killed him and they arrested him true story and where we find this story from it's in front of you 
in the Quran, chapter 2, verse number 73. And this is why the Al-Baqarah is called Al-Baqarah. Al-Baqarah means the cow. This is the book of God. And not only that, it says, and this is how Allah, he resurrect people from death. Allah resurrect people by beating them by cow. Read with me. So, <laughs> and by the way, if, <laughs> if read the story, it doesn't say anything. I mean, the story is so stupid, man. <laughs> What does verse have to do with the story? Look at this. I remember when Musa, Musa said to his people, Very Allah commanded you that you should slaughter a cow. They said, uh, Do you make fun of us? Uh, he said, uh, I take uh, refuse by Allah. What the what what is the story? Hey Muslim, what is the story? What what is his story for? Where is the guy who got killed? They are saying the opposite. Here it says the opposite. Muhammad, he take a story from the Old Testament. He add his own spice, and the 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 the, the, the story now is different story. This is the book of God, and this is how Allah he reject people from death. So in the judgment day, Allah will need a lot of cows, man. Allah will become like a butcher. He's covered by blood. And look, we cannot just use any cow. It have to be certain cow. It's a cow neither trained to till the soil, nor the water in the field, sound having no other color except the bright yellow. What? Bright yellow cow. The beef miracle. This is how Allah He reject people from death. Remember when you killed a man and fell into dispute among yourself as the crime, but Allah brought forth that which we're hiding. What about you tell us where is the, the underwear which Muhammad he stole, like uh, uh, he been accused that he stole? Until now, we are looking for it. This is the book of God. Any Muhammadan? They asked Muhammad uh, even an uh, easier question, like, how many sleepers in the cave? Look how Muhammad, Muhammad is a, you know, this guy is a philosopher. So they asked him a very simple question, even simple question he don't dare to answer. Hey, uh, Prophet, how many people they slept in the cave in the story of the Christians? So Muhammad, you do not know. In order to cover his ass, because he's afraid if he say four, he might be wrong. He might say five, he might be wrong. If he say eight, he might be wrong. It might be seven, I don't know. So look what he said. Look at this. This is God talking. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, <clears throat> let me answer you. Uh, so imagine now, I call Zach and I. Ta -da -dum, ta -da -dum. Tell them, 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 tell you. tell them, tell them, you have to answer me. You have no choice. I put you in the corner. First of all, I'm sitting in a room. I no corner. It's a circle. It doesn't matter. Zachary Naik, I will corner you even if you are in a circle room. Chris and Prince, I trained you. Okay, let's try. Now, how many people they were in the cave sleeping? Can you give me the exact number? The answer is very simple. We can go to chapter 18. Verse number 22. It says in the Quran, some they say there are three and they're talking number four. Some they say there are four and they're talking number five. And some they say there are six and they're number seven. And some they say there are seven and they're talking number eight. 
the truth and the, the note with the number. <laughs> what the heck? That is the answer. Allah knows best their number. So what is the number? <laughs> I mean, are we asking about science now? We, this is a very stupid question, very simple. I mean, just tell us the number. How many was in the cave? I mean, this is God talking. Say seven, say six, if it says, I mean, he don't dare to say because he is, and not only that, only Allah, no one knows their number, save Allah and few. Like, what the heck? And the few? As long as there is Allah and the few, that means the number is known. So what is the number? Until now, we are waiting for the number. This is the book of God. They are not asking for him, you know, to make uh, miracles. It's just us. How many? Uh, and this is a fiction story, by the way. This is written. This is a story written long before Muhammad by a Christian bishop from Syria. You know, to to teach the Christian that you be patient. You are being discriminated. Uh, you know, uh, and uh, a time will come, and you will be free. It's a fiction story. Muhammad, he took it, he put it in the book. And until now, we do not know their numbers. We are waiting for the number. There is none or few contradiction. The whole Quran is a contradiction. What are you talking about? How does God, he knows everything and this verses exist? Mm. <clears throat> uh, Maroon, it's time for you, my friend, to be banned. You see, I tolerate everything, like insulting me, etc. But insulting Jesus, I will send you free shipping and hand it into Allah. You can insult me, you can call me names, I will have patience. But you insult Jesus, man. And just wait when the Messiah come. Get ready. He will put you in one room with your prophet. By the way, uh, it says proving to be scientifically that the Quran is a book of God. How is that? As an example, nobody knows uh, what the fruit will give. And what the women she will give birth to? Like, what the heck? Only Allah knows those things? Yes, brother. Nobody knows? Muhammad, he never thought that time will come and a little machine for $10 can tell you what is the gender of your baby. Read and laugh. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? Who is a Muslim would like to join us here? Nobody? <laughs> this God is unique, by the way. I mean, this guy is... Uh, very, very nice, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, he is the one who sent rain, brother. I'm trying to look at the sky. There's nothing, you know, nobody. Not a single Abdul. Not a single one. <clears throat> See, this is how Allah, he proved that he is God. Hmm. Talk is cheap. Verily, Allah with him alone, the knowledge of the hour. But isn't it Allah, he said, the judgment day is near and the moon is split asunder? Which means it should happen immediately after that? Hello? In the chapter of the moon? And then he sent down rain and he knows that which in the wombs 
No person know what is earned tomorrow, and no person know what land he will die. Verily, Allah is all knower, all aware. Allah, signature. Nobody knows what is in the womb. Why Jesus did not know the hour? Uh, that's your understanding, my friend. If you read the same chapter, you will see that Jesus says, when this and this and this happen, then I will come. So the knowledge of Jesus about the hour is not a knowledge of the timing. It's about a decision only the Father will announce. You see, why does, who is Jesus? He is the Son. So why Jesus, he say the Father? The Father is the one who is in the charge of announcing the day. If you go, even in the Middle Eastern culture, who is the one who announce big occasions? The Father. The Son, he will be sitting, and the Father is the one who talk. So the judgment day is in the hand, or let's say the decision will be made by the Father, but the Son, he is the one who have the power over the flesh. So let us make it simple for you. Jesus have his job to do. The Father, he have his job to do. The Holy Spirit has its job to do. Everyone have his job to do. It is the job of the Father to announce the hour. It is the job of the Son to be the judge of the hour. It is the job of the Spirit to accompany the Christians in the bad and the good time. Now, how come Allah do not know the hour? We answer you about Jesus. Isn't it you Muslim, you say to me, read the chapter of John 17? It says there, Father, I am your son. Okay, what son? What, what this son would do? The one you gave him the authority over the flesh. Over the flesh. So even the Messiah always, when he speak, he says, the father he gave me. The father he gave me. And then the same time he says, me and the father is one. Do we have any Muslim who would like to call us and show us if Allah knows anything? I mean, we just showed you that Allah do not know how many sleepers in the cave was. In the chapter of the moon, Allah, he said clearly that the moon is split asunder and judgment day is so near. Nothing happened and there's no moon split. It was just an eclipse. How that can be? How, how such a mistake can come from God? Allah do not know the difference between eclipse and uh, splitting the moon? Is that Allah making a mistake here? And look what the Muslim, they add, they add in the translation. They add a story, it's not even there. Actually, let me leave the, the leave the translation of the Muslim to show you how stupid it is. The hour has drawn near. So what is the first statement? The hour. So what does that mean? The moon eclipse is a sign of the hour. Do you see it? But then you will see the Muslim, they add there in translation, the people of Mecca requested the Prophet Muhammad, S-A-W, this is like shortwave radio, to show them a miracle. So he showed them the splitting of the moon. And that is a contradiction because either this is the sign of the hour or it just to show them the splitting of the moon as a miracle. Same time, you ask the Muslims, who is the one who witness the splitting of the moon? You see, if the moon is split, that will be witnessed by around the world. A Muslim, he tried to be smart. He says, the reason nobody witnessed it because it was for a second. <laughs> for a second. <laughs> the hour, the knowledge of the hour, the, the no is not known because the date hasn't been set. Actually, this is true in Christianity. In Christianity, and I mentioned that many times, we don't have the, God don't set a date. Do you remember the story of Lot in the Old Testament? You know, when like when God, he, uh, like He said, if there is if there is 70 people in the city, they are still good. Are you going to burn it? 
He said, no. 10, no, right? So the judgment day will happen when the earth is doomed. So the faster we corrupt, the faster the day of judgment will happen. However, that will not change anything. It is for the Father to announce the hour, not for the Son. And if you don't understand how that can happen, well, you are a Muslim. Is it for Allah to know the hour? If yes, read the verse in front of you. Not only Muhammad, that is, uh, Muhammad he said, Muhammad been given a prophecy by, by, by his God, right? He looked at the child. He said, this child will not grow old. Haram is like over 35 something, 30 something. He will not grow old before the judgment day. Come. And look what the Muslim they add to make it to fix it. The judgment day will not come. They will come before this boy get old. And get old mean not old like to become 90 or no, haram. Do you see it? This is Sahir Bukhari. This slave boy will not, before he got old, the hour will be established. And then the Muslim, they try to fix it. They say, no, no, no. He is saying that all of you, you will be dead. <laughs> no. All of us renew in Arabic when you say, as taqumu sa it is about the day of judgment. And this is Sahir Bukhari. Do we have any Muhammadan? So do Allah knew the hour? Obviously he don't. This is a clear false prophecy. Uh, somebody saying to me, come back to Islam, please. My friend, I've never been a Muslim. Except your prophet said when I was a kid, when I was born, I was born as a Muslim, which is true. My mom, she told me when I was baby, I used to do poo poo in the diaper. That is the only proof of being a Muslim. <clears throat> do we have any Mohammedan? No? Nobody? Zero? But anyway, we have to agree that Islam make a lot of sense, especially we know like something in... Like, you know, there are some stories make you proud about certain people. Like Abraham. Abraham, because in Islam, everything, size does matter. I'm so proud that Abraham is the grandfather of the Jews. Brother, he have a big one. To the point he used an ads to circumcise himself. I mean, who can come with such a knowledge, save Allah? Ads? Why, the guy, he have a penis of an elephant? Where Muhammad, he got this information from? Hmm? 
And how big his, uh, I mean, ads? Are you sure, Muhammad? Are you sure it's not a shuffle? Or caterpillar? Or maybe he used an RBG? Hmm. So I'm really, I mean, I'm, I'm convinced, I'm so proud of my... I mean, <clears throat> what happened to us? Why it's not that big no more? Abraham, what do you have, man? I, I think Abraham and his time, I think he can break a door with it. He can cut a tree with it, man. And the funny is that Muhammad himself, he never been circumcised. So I find that Muhammad is, must be a true prophet, you know? Like, we made just a, a video just two days ago about a Jassasa. And what a Jassasa? A Jassasa, she is a female spy for the Antichrist. <laughs> I mean, this Antichrist is really funny. He's spying at whom, by the way? She is a spy? Oh, what? Look, look, look. The Messenger of Allah said one day, in the pulpit when the people were sitting in the sea and their food was finished and an island appeared to them they went out seeking the bread they voted the island seeking bread what the heck <laughs> are you sure what they are seeking bread <laughs> not rice not rice <laughs> they were met by a jassasa you know, I'm so glad you do not stop in Korea because in Korea, if you look for bread, you 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 will you will spend the whole day looking. <laughs> anyway, they went and they seek in the bread, and they went and they met by a jassasa. Look, 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 look. The Antichrist is spy. What the heck? Sound like action, KGB. Is she blonde? Short skirt? Let us use our imagination. A Jassasa, female spy. Whew. I mean, look at my luck. I stopped in thousands of islands in my life. I never met a female spy. Why? Why? Why my luck is like this? Why? What's wrong? I mean, those guys, they are just in the middle of... No and suddenly, what a female spy here. Look at her name, a Jassasa. Hey, Muslim, what Jassasa mean? I mean, Jassa? Spy, no? A spy? This is her name? Whew, that's deep. True story. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway true story true story and hey, by, by the way Muslims if Jesus is just a prophet why the guy is an antichrist any Muslim can tell us if Muhammad is the most important prophet why there is an antichrist not anti-Muhammad <laughs> just, just says a zero zero seven hundred that's a good one شنو هذا محمد؟ عيني انت شلون هذا؟ حكمة هذه حكمة جواهر من فم رسول الله سبحانه وتعالى من هو كان كم with such news like محمد؟ nobody 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 and this is this is explain why the goat ate the Quran. I mean, if you if you check the story, the Quran is preserved, brother. You know, okay, you know the Quran is preserved. Uh, <coughs> look at the preserved Quran. Oh, we have jihad is calling. Hello. Hey, jihad. How are you, my friend? Hey, CP, I just wanted to ask something. Ask me something. Um, all right. 
<laughs> so if you if it, what I, what I hear that a lot of Christians claim is that uh, God the the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit are are three different entities, but they're one in essence and one in nature. That's what they've been saying. But my question is because I have one of those brains that overthinks things. If you guys say that God is a spirit and then uh, the Holy Spirit is different than the Father, then isn't that two spirits? No, the, the Holy Spirit is a spirit. The, but the, if, if the Father no, is a when spirit we say, too, and no, He's holy, then we, 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 two Holy Spirits. We, no, we, we, never say, we never say that Jesus is a spirit, the Father is a spirit, the Holy uh, uh, Spirit is a spirit. So when we say the Spirit of God, it's a, as an example, when Jesus, He came to this earth, right? Jesus, he okay. came to the earth as a man, correct? Oh, I understand that part. I'm just confused about the two spirits. No, there's no two spirit. There's no three spirit. God the Father is the Father. God the Son is the Son. God the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. I don't know. You have the music there? Uh, I'll, I'll mute it. It's just a television. Uh, okay, okay, Jihad. When are you finishing okay. the music? Do you want to listen to I, I, music or I, you want to ask me a question? I just turned it off, my All friend. Right. Okay. Okay, so. Go ahead again. Yeah. So, uh, 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 God the Father is the Father. We did not say He is the Spirit. And we did not say the Holy Spirit is the Father. We did not say the Holy Spirit is Jesus. Jesus is Jesus. God the Father is the Father. And the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit. It's not three spirits. It's not two spirits. It's not five spirit. And, you know, uh, uh, if you are saying uh, how that is possible... Well, how it's no, I was, I was, say, I, I was saying, uh, Jesus is is the man form. The, yeah, but, uh, the Holy but Spirit is my, my like friend, the like my, the, my, the my power friend. of the earth. And then, yeah, and then what Musa, what Musa couldn't see from the bush because he'll die. So that's the Father. Yeah, the Bible says the Bible says that right? it, uh, that Jesus is the humble image of the glorious God. He humbled himself. He took the image of a man, that in the flesh. Yeah, so we I can got see that part. Okay. I'm, just, so, I'm just confused so about the spirit there, and the father. Yeah, uh, you see, uh, if you wanna, if you wanna talk about confusion, then can you can you imagine uh, uh, when we say the word the glory, the glorious God, is that a glory like the Quran speak about the throne, someone sitting in the throne, is that the glory, uh, someone he is carried by angels, is that the glory? Obviously, the glory of God have nothing to do with those things, even though the throne present authority, uh, you know, uh, of a king. But this is not the authority of a man and not the authority of a king of of uh, of, uh, of, of this earth. Uh, so when we speak about the glory of God, it is because something we can't describe it. It's something beyond description and nobody can describe it for you. So to understand how the father is, we have to wait until one day, you know, we die, we go to heaven if, if God blessed us to go, and then we will know who is the Father, if the Father allow us to know how He is, how everything. we There are things we do not know. There are things we did not see. Uh, there are things... Nobody, okay, it's, not, it's the unseen. It's not the not unseen. only not only the unseen. No, not it's only the, the unseen. No, not only the unseen. There's, you know, the second you say the word... Oh, I, I take that. I mean, I understand No, no, no. Uh, uh, just uh, be patient with me. The, word, what, the second you say the word God... It's mean there's things and impossible for him. And the second we give him or that description that nothing is impossible with God, that means all the possibility. You try and you think about it in your head, it can be different from what you think because nothing is impossible with God. So how he can be one and then the second and then the third and one God, well, nothing is impossible with him. If God, he came and he says, I am a million person, not a three. Can I tell him how that is possible? Well, I am God. I can be what I want to be, what I am. I am who I am. So either we accept him as he is, and then we will be with him, or we don't accept. If I want to now discuss with God and say to him, you cannot be that, I can't do that. You know, Then I reject him. Very simple. So either the second you say I... almighty, then all those questions really are invalid. They're, 
because you know you can't you can't understand how God, how God is exactly nobody can really describe even his ability I mean we are to, the second we say God we are not talking about ability of me and you I mean look at this massive universe look at this uh, 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 you know uh, endless numbers of stars you know it, it's it's a scary actually if you think about it how massive how small we are so uh, you the little tiny who live in a tiny earth in this in the size of a dust trying to understand the nature of God so when God he gave us books he did not give us books of science and he did not really uh, want us to be let us say well didn't the church fathers give any interpretation books you know like you know we, like we, almost we like have it, my friend sort? there's nothing called interpretation can give you or, interpretation of God or, what God God is a word mean the one who can do anything that what God is so what interpretation can I give interpretation can you give me interpretation of how the Sun is boiling and how this is what we call it science how this universe is massive how how uh, how cold and heat is created how uh, you you know you are a li living a human being uh, so I'm just asking so 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 the Christian scholars of the past or the church fathers they didn't write books to explain they write tons or did of they, books. Or did... actually nobody have a library as we do we have hundreds of thousands of books you know not only thousands so our library is so huge and if you want to study uh, what they call it liturgy you can you know you will spend uh, I I know I know a guy he is I don't know if he's still alive or not uh, I think he cannot um, it's impossible for him to be alive because when I was in my 20 he was I think almost 90 and he still he is a student studying Christian books this guy is a, is a, is a, is a priest is a monk all his life he spent studying and reading I didn't know that about the book yeah and uh, and I asked him uh, like uh, when you will stop studying you know he said I wish I can live a million a year from now to keep studying because we have our Christian library is is is, is a massive and every day I learn something new so with God my friend you your faith can grow and you can learn about and him you cannot I mean, like you, it's just like you said you cannot understand every single aspect of it because it's too <clears throat> Powerful, it's too you complicated. know, jihad. If I say to you, if there is a scientist, he understand anything? No, scientist is a person he is learning. Until now, what we learn of science is little tiny things, right? So yeah. even scientist, he is not a scientist. If you think about it, he's a fool. Yeah, you know. So and every day they discover a new thing, and they found maybe even something they thought about it before. It was right they thought about it to be correct to be a fact and now it is wrong so even scientists they discover this is why the bible says that you know like uh, 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 foolish is the one who think he know <laughs> the, the second no, you think I, the second I, you I, think the, the second you think that you are a knowledgeable person that means you are foolish you know what hmm. um i i i understand what you're saying and so that that's just what it is but you know how Jesus spoke in metaphors, <clears throat> yeah. Um, and you mentioned, um, you know, poke your eye out. I, I'm sure you guys don't, yeah, think that that's literal. But isn't it a good isn't it a good argument if Jesus said that to have women wear niqab? What what what? what? I'm j I'm just saying. Like I mean, okay. You you don't mean literally poke your eye out, mm. right or wrong? No, it's not about taking your. And Jesus is 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 uh, uh, is telling you uh, how extreme the let us say uh, the consequence. So it's better to do this, but he's not saying to you take your eyes out. What what your yeah. eyes will do, you know? Because at the end to of the day, to look at a woman is what I'm saying. So if you do that, isn't that a good? Isn't his words of not looking at women in a lustful way? Couldn't you see that as a good argument for having women wear niqab? It will, if you if women wear niqab, you will look more actually because now they are they are hidden from you. So you start thinking about them. You you became more curious to see. 
you know uh, uh, actually in the in the old testament there is a story about a woman and you are a palestinian but i'm not trying to insult you but this palestinian they are pagans and they were you know they offer themselves to the temple to be a whore and what they do they wear burqa because they don't want anyone to know who they are but they are hookers simply she is she is she is working as a whore uh, uh, you know to uh, uh, to serve uh, their their pagan god this is what they learn so she is wearing a burqa but now she is a hooker and well, you know yeah hold on and you know and you, and you are a middle eastern you know that women who wear burqa in the middle east they are not safe the same as women who don't wear a burqa they will be more yeah, lusted. Maybe in Egypt. No, no, no. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Go to Saudi Arabia. Just search right now. Type in Arabic the word Taharosh. Just oh, do yeah, it. Yeah, I know yeah. that one. And you will see women wearing hijab, wearing burqa. They are touched. They are, you know, I mean, it's it's horrible. So uh, it's, it's did, happened to cousins of mine. See? Uh, so did rape stop because they were burqa? No. Actually, it's increased. I have a video. I don't know if you saw it. I'm, I translated it. But as long as you speak Arabic, you can watch it. Uh, uh, I think 30, 40 to 45% of the... That's a fair uh, point, but I have seen some very religious, both Jewish and Christian women covering my friend, their my friend. hair but in a different way. My friend, my friend way. first of all, first of all, uh, it's, so? it's not it's not hair cover will make the women good or bad. Secondly, if you go to First Corinthians, it says that the uh, uh, chapter 11, verse number 5, it says, but every woman, you know, she have her cover, it's her head, her hair. God, He gave the the glory of the women, the glory of the women, is hair hair cover. You have a natural cover. Cover, you know, put in put in a piece of a clothes. You are covering what exactly? Nothing. What is that would do? You know, you have your hair. So this is a okay. this 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 is a this is a you know. A, uh, this is hair cover. So there's this no commandment from the Old Testament to to cover the head. There's not. There's no, there's. No, it's not about covering the head. It's about wearing decent clothes. There's, there's a huge difference between covering the head, because this is something they used to do anyway. For the, the road is full of dust, dirt. Uh, uh, even men they cover themselves in the, uh, the old days. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. So why? Not because they are uh, uh, afraid of somebody to rape them, <laughs> but because it is sun. It is dirty. It is not transportation like now, so you have to spend the whole day walking in the heat and the dust and the dirt. Uh, uh, if a caravan walk by, the whole sky will become dirt and, and dust. So people, men and women, they cover their hair, but this has nothing to do with God teaching. Oh, it has nothing to do with it, huh? What what that will do? Okay, so then so then did did um, in Islam, for example. The, the hijab is that that's in the Quran, isn't it? My friend, even even in the Quran, the hijab is not something you wear in your on your head. Muslims, you know, as I was I say, I don't want to insult you. They are stupid. When when you see the word hijab, hijab is something is a curtain between you and something else. It's not something you put in the top of you. This is what hijab is. Hijab never was something on the head. So then where did this come from then? Read carefully with me. Chapter 7, verse number 46. It says, وَبَيْنَهُمْ hijab, وَبَيْنَهُمَا hijab, And between them there was a veil. A veil, sorry. Hijab. This word hijab in front of you. Between them, not in the top of his head or, you know. Between them uh -huh. there is a hijab. So, and this is all over the Quran. Hijab is not, you know. As an example, chapter 19, verse number 17. This is about Mary. So she took, uh, she screened herself from them. But the word hijab is in the front of us. Hijab. She did not wear hijab. She screened herself from them, which means okay. she, 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 she is separated from them. There is a different room, etc. So hijab, you uh, uh, either you are speaking from behind a curtain or you are behind something so nobody can see you at all. But not a burqa and not a scarf. This is not okay, hijab. So, where, so how did that come from? How they are stupid as usual. They, I never saw a Muslim he understand his Quran. I never met one. And you know, here we go. Chapter 30, 33, verse number 53. Read with me. You should ask them from behind a hijab. What the Muslim translation? 
uh, be, from behind the screen. Where, where is where is that? Can, uh, let me see the Arabic word hijab. Here we go. فَاسْأَلُوهُنَّ مِنْ وَرَاءِ مِنْ وَرَاءِ حِجَاب. Let me zoom in. فَيَسْأَلُوهُنَّ مِنْ وَرَاءِ حِجَاب. Yeah, من وراء. <laughs> Do you see it? من وراء. Okay. Well, let me see. Oh, what وراء means? It's skipping. It's skipping around. What وراء mean? Okay. From behind, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, where, where is where is من وراء? وراء. Here we go. وراء. 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 I didn't see the word. That's all I'm looking for. I highlight it for you. I got hijab. I think there's a must be a delay. Yeah, yeah, you will Okay. Oh, فيسألو من من وراء فيسألو فيسألو هن من وراء حجاب. من وراء حجاب. Okay, no, I can I can read that. There's okay, no... so وراء is what is behind. It's not uh, something in the head. How this has become in the head, nobody knows. وراء. 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 Yeah, وراء. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. know, but behind. But I'm just yeah. surprised that it's that. Like with. Yeah, like... that's what it is. But oh. you know, Muslims don't read. Muslims are you know uh, copy-paste my... people. I thought it's 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 to be worn. يعني, no, تلبس. no, no, من وراء, from behind. Even the Muslim translation says here, behind the screen. Ask them from behind the screen. Ah, yeah. And all of this hijab is about Muhammad women, not about Muslim women. As you see, when you want to talk to Muhammad wives, ask them from behind the hijab. Muhammad don't want anyone. To get the clothes to his to, to his women, he is like those are my chickens. And saw the example of yeah, it's, it's it's sunnah. Okay, mm. yeah. yeah. Even so Allah himself, even Allah himself, he speak from behind the hijab, chapter forty two, verse number fifty one. It says here, it it's not for any human being that should speak to Allah to uh, 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 to, uh, him. Uh, Allah uh, uh, to him unless it is by inspiration or from behind the veil behind not the veil is something you wear the veil the Muslim they wear is, is something you wear but here it's behind the veil so the veil the hijab never was really what they are saying hijab is a curtain is a wall is a is an object which you uh, uh, behind it Will make okay. you unable to be seen, but it's not the piece of clothes. And so, what, where did that story come from? Where one one of uh, uh, Muhammad's wives was was you know defecating outside and, and yeah, so and, that uh, Omar sp yeah. Okay, so is that is that how it came? Yeah, exactly. Actually, but that's a Sunni book. You know, do the Shia <laughs> believe that too? Uh, Shia, that they have Shias. They have their own stories, but yeah, it's the same same garbage. There we go. Okay. Uh, uh, so that she was going out to do poopoo, -poo, and then uh, Omar he said, "Arif nakiya soda," and he told Muhammad, "You know, tell your wives, tell your wives to hide themselves. You know, to cover themselves. You know, read it." So Allah Messenger asked your ladies to observe veil, but he is a chasing them. I mean, look how this this filthy man, a woman, she is going out at the dark to do poopoo. -poo. She will wear veil for what? Okay. You know. So, so all of this because of a woman she is doing poo poo. The hijab in Islam is because of a poo poo. I just want to know why Umar would follow her. Filthy. Imagine somebody, with my respect to your family, coming to you, visit you, and he saw your wife, like you know, you know, the old days. It's normal to go outside. There's no bathroom, there's no sewage, you know, right? I mean, until now, there's many villages, they don't have even sewage. So uh, they go out in the darkness. Why this guy even even show respect? If you saw a woman doing poo poo. Why you say, "Hey, Sauda, I recognize you," and then he go inside the house to clean his hand from what he did. He said to the prophet, "Man, tell your wife to cover themselves, man." I just saw Sauda outside doing poo poo. So, what does that mean? Yeah, hadith, man. Hadith. Some hadith stories are 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 just crazy. Well, crazy. Islam is stupid, my friend. It's not about. <laughs> this is why the Muslims they try to to delete those stories, so we will not know the history of Muhammad. Are they changing? They're changing it, but is is they're they're starting to play with hadiths? It looks like uh, some people. But all uh, everything in the hadith, you know, the Quran itself is a hadith. But I just want to know if there's any discrepancies between 
the hadith that come online or in the officially printed books well the, the English one Arab country the English ones are are for sure there's a lot of fabrication and translation and translated maybe by you know some Pakistani who doesn't know Arabic yeah yeah and yeah. put in brackets around yeah yeah things, right and not only that uh, if you read if you read the hadith in Arabic like now we are reading this hadith they, they cut it off they don't really give you the whole thing you know they cut it off <clears throat> so if you read the whole thing then you have to go to the original book as an example Ibn Kathir in Arabic I have the book of Ibn Kathir the, the, the inter interpretation of the Quran I mean, there are many. The one in the Quran, the one in the internet, in the English. You have, do you have the? Do you do you get the full pure Arabic one? I have it all of in in, in my house, all of it. All the interpretation of Ibn Kathir, all of them. But if you go in the English, there are a small, tiny book. And most of the story is gone. You know, they take it off. So if you want to read, yeah, you have to go in Arabic. Otherwise, you are reading it. Uh, especially if the Muslim, uh, the translator is a Muslim, they will read the story. But and even when they put the the, if it's an Arabic website, did they put the story same as you can find? Book? You, you can find, uh, like uh, there is some search engine made by Muslims uh, agencies. Uh, you can find maybe or maybe well, you know you can download Al Bukhari, download the whole book, book after book. Yeah, you can download it. They're online. If you know Arabic, just download in Arabic. But English, for sure, is a, is a sick English translation. There's, there's no honesty. There's no dignity. There's no truth. Yeah, if there's brackets, you, you cannot, you know. You see, even, even, even the Arab themselves, they fabricate and they lie. When, like now, we are talking about the hijab. As an example, yeah. uh, how, how many times you heard that Muhammad was illiterate? Um, yeah, that's that's the story. Okay, but nowhere in the Quran says Muhammad was illiterate. Right. No way. Yeah, I mean that's 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 been part of the issue that that many that many people have said is the, that the, the hadith the Quran, comes above the Quran. My friend, you speak Arabic. You you know what the word umam, right? Umam. Um, umam. Umam. What umam mean? That one I don't know. Nations. Oh, Ummah, right? Yeah. Oh, um, oh okay, that's the Ummah. plural. Okay. Ummah is a one okay, nation. So Ummah, Ummah is, the is nations. Okay. okay, the so, nations. Got women it. Humu, Ummiyuna, Ummiyun, is the, the, coming from the Hebrew, the Gomai, the one who they are not, from the Jews. The nations, from the nations, they are not from the of Israel. So the Quran says, uh, all over, I mean, the, uh, uh, and then the Muslim, they translate it as illiterate. So it says here, and there are among them the Jews. This is this is false, by the way, not the Jews. Uh, and you tell me the Arabs didn't descend from uh, the the Israelites? The Arab have nothing to do with Israel. How how that how they Arab? Didn't, they, they didn't have no descent. My friend, uh, first Arab are not one nation. Is not one ethnic. Arab is a is an Aramaic word mean desert. Arab does not mean people. Arabian is those who live in the desert. Okay. But there was Christian Arabs even from Yemen it, way they, yeah, back in the day. Those Christian desert people, they are not Arab as Arab as ethnic. They are not the same. The The Bedouin of Iraq is not the same as the Bedouin of uh, north of Syria or the Bedouin in Israel. So are you or, just telling me that Arab is a way to describe desert Arab people? mean Bedouin, have nothing to do with mean, the word so Arab. In, Arab coming from the word Ar 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 Arab, which means the, the inhabitant of the desert. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, desert people. So if you live in Las Vegas, you're an Arab now. This is Aramaic. This is not Arabic. All, all the Quran is not, is not, there's nothing there in Arabic. Okay, but, but, but being Arab developed as, as an ethnicity over time. Uh, no, only, no, an, only, only. And, and now, now there's a language and you speak it. So, I mean, so what? No, it doesn't matter. I, I'm, speak, I'm, sure I'm speaking in English now. I'm speaking, I'm speaking English mixed with Arabic doesn't make me a new ethnic. That's false. So this is a false argument. And uh, th there is many people who they, uh, Filipinos, they speak English very well. They speak it better than me, but they are still not, not one nation. They are many tribes, many ethnic. So that is a false argument. But the Arab have nothing to do with ethnic. Arab is those who live in the desert. Anyone live in the desert, they call them Arab. So 
uh, a person live in a uh, in a moving tent this was even the Quran al arab what al arab mean that desert arab arab here mean desert there's no need to repeat it but now by time the word arab became known as those who live in the middle east in the arabian peninsula desert but in fact no the word arab is a desert you know but uh i don't know if this is true or not but i saw some uh ex-muslim online who who makes some videos and he said um that the Arabs descend from Amalekites. Have you ever heard anything like that before? I, you know, I don't think anyone can give us 3D because there is a lot of mix. There's nothing called Arab, as I said. You know, I don't know what he said to you, but uh, I don't, I don't believe there's something exists is called Arab, never exist, and now not exist, and will never exist. Because they are, there's no one nation, especially in the Middle East area. Like you know, in in, in you are you are uh, you call yourself Palestinian, but if you check out, you will find that you are mixed with Roman, mixed with the Persian, mixed with the Syrian, mixed with the Aramaic, mixed with the children of Israel, mixed with everybody. I mean, who, who can who can claim that he is from ethnic in that area? It's impossible. But we know that there is some old tribes. And they speak, none of them speak Arabic. Arabic is a new language developed by mix of many languages. This is why the Quran is have nothing to do with the Arab, the, you know, the Quran. If you like now, the Quran says this is a pure Arabic. But the word Quran itself is not Arabic. Bustan is not Arabic. Qalam is not Arabic. Jannah, Jannah is not Arabic. Jahannam is not Arabic. I mean, Allah is not Arabic. Everything is not Arabic. So what is Arabic? It's so, a, well, I mean, it comes from the Aramaic language. Okay, no, no problem. But even the Aramaic itself is born of other languages before it. So uh, uh, there's ancient Aramaic, there's a modern Aramaic, and there's nations before the Aramaic. So, but Arabic as a language is a totally messed up mixed language. And that's why you see... But isn't it Aramaic well, is it like as a dialect of Hebrew? No, it's the opposite. You know, Hebrew, Hebrew uh, copy a lot of the Aramaic, not the opposite. Remember, Abraham, Abraham is the grandfather of the Jews, not the opposite. So Hebrew is born long after the Aramaic. Okay. Okay. And then you had, uh, you had, um, you know, when they, when they wrote the gospels, they, they would write down what Jesus says in Aramaic and translate it to Greek themselves because everybody spoke they do Aramaic not need to translate no no they don't need to translate and because, then you know, because they want to spread it to, to, to no, Rome. no 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 you see uh, uh, jihad Jesus he speak all languages there's no question about it and for sure Jesus spoke Greek too because the Roman who live in that area you know they speak uh, you know I mean uh, the most popular language at that time it was the Greek language so Aramaic and Hebrew and Greek is a must, is a must, you know, in that area. So uh, I assume that Jesus, when he spoke, he spoke at least in those three languages. So he, knew, he knew Hebrew. He knew, they, he well, knew Hebrew. We believe he is God, so he speaks any language, my friend. Isn't it? Isn't it the disciple? He sent them to all mankind, and you know, and then they they were able to speak in many tongues. Even the book of Ebenezer have it. So. Uh, uh, if his disciple they can have a miracle to speak in languages so why oh, oh, and if Jesus he is their Lord how many languages speak you can imagine so I don't think there's a limit of a language he cannot speak uh, but for sure uh, Jesus he spoke to the people at that time in three major languages which is the Hebrew and Aramaic and Greek okay yeah and so yeah that's that's what they have uh and so the, the, you said there was messengers who spoke you know, different if languages. You know, if you see the conversation between Jesus and the Roman ruler. But that's Ibn Kathir's book, you said. No, no, we don't care about We're talking about our book. I'm, I'm, I'm mentioning Ibn Kathir, but I'm, uh, I'm, I'm asking you. you in, in the Bible, we have a conversation between Jesus and the ruler of the Roma, correct? Yeah. Okay, the Roman. Or, the, the ruler, where is this? Where is this? The, 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 ru the ruler of the Roman, he will not speak Hebrew. 
the official language of the government of Rome is the Greek language. So that have to be done in order to speak to this person. It is, they, will, they will be considered even an insult even to speak in different language to them. You have to learn the language, not the opposite. They are the one who occupy you. Right, it's like right? English. Yeah. So you speak, you know, in order to speak to them, you have to speak in their language. So uh, uh, obviously, Jesus, he spoke uh, the language of the Roman. And he, for sure, he speak Hebrew. He was, you know, he was... Uh, uh, discussing with the rabbis in the in the in the synagogue, uh, and for sure he speak Aramaic because there is many you know uh, uh, you know uh, phrases and etc. is all is Aramaic. So we believe in Christ as God. He speak any language, but the language he spoke for sure there are three. In the same time, our our belief is not based in language. You know. Uh, because uh, the language is just a way to communicate, not uh, to conquer. In the, the Arab, you know, who now they are using the Arabic language as identity, not as an ethnic, you know, and then later they became it an ethnic, make it an ethnic. So the Muslim, when they go to a country, they, they force their language, like, you know, your people never spoke Arabic. Until Abdul Malik ibn Rawan, nobody spoke Arabic in all that area in Syria and Jordan and Israel. Nobody spoke. Nobody knows Arabic. Zero. Oh, I know that. Huh? I know that. Yeah. So he is the one who forced to change all languages from the Aramaic into Arabic. All right. Who did that? Umar Khattab? Abdul Malik ibn Rawan. The Caliphate Abdul Malik ibn Rawan. He forced the, the, all languages to be uh, everything to be printed in Arabic. Yeah. yeah. When was this? Uh, you know, you can search. In it, it's called oh. Tarib with the Wawin. Tarib at the Wawin. Okay. No, I'll take your word for it. Yeah. I mean, it's no, not I don't, surprising. I don't, I don't say things unless it is, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, so he he forced he forced all uh, countries occupied by them by Bani Umayyah to speak Arabic and Arabic only, and all government uh, departments, which he don't have department really, but uh, they try to copy the other nations who they occupy them. They have departments, so they hijack them. You know, and this is you know Abdul Malik ibn Moran. I think it was like in the uh, uh, 86, 80, 80, maybe. Um, Maybe in the 80, 80 years after Muhammad Hijrah. Yeah. Okay. And he is the one, yeah. I think he is the one who built what is called Al-Aqsa. He, he, uh, uh, he took the stones from uh, the temple of uh, Baal in Baal back in Lebanon. And he moved it all the way to build the Aqsa Mosque. There was no Aqsa. <laughs> well. Yeah. I'll read about it. Yeah. Anyway, so Jihad, uh, so uh, what do you think about, about uh, you know, learning all of this about Islam? How, how do you think of Muhammad now? Well, I'm, I'm just studying things. I mean, it's, I know that, you know, there's a lot of evidence about uh, Jesus being able to do miracles, you know, and even a lot of his enemies, uh, said that he was able to do miracles and there was historical reports from his time a lot of it you know there there were some strong cases for it you know even by the people who are not exactly christians yeah actually even that, the jews if you go to the to the uh uh the talmud you know which is antichrist book and i'm not denying that and i'm not denying that he was yeah. born to a virgin which is why i was on the train of thought for a while that you know that Allah is number one Jesus is number two as Messiah and then you have prophets and you know I, I was still willing to accept Muhammad as the as the last prophet who came to Arabs to tell them you know and the prophets are number three you know they're just people who come to their people to tell them about about God so that's I was still willing to accept that, but um, I, you know, people keep trying to refute me from the Christian side on that one. 
Yeah, Muhammad can't be a prophet because for, so, number one, to be a prophet, you have to prophesy, and all prophecies of Muhammad become false. As an example, Muhammad he said, uh, "You attack, you attack the Roman, and you will conquer Constantinople." He was speaking to the Arab. He said to them, "Stay away from the Turk as long as the Turkish they left you alone." And Muhammad considered the Turk as Gog and Magog. But as we know, the one who conquered Constantinople was not the Arab, who was a Turkish. Muhammad, as an example, he uh, made tons of false prophecies about uh, about uh, our like the moon splitting, uh, a prophecy about how the baby is made, uh, how 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 hail is coming from the sky from mountains in heaven. This is something we do not know. Muhammad he came with it, claiming science. Muhammad he he made the 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 sperm become a clot, and then the clot became a lump, and lump become a bone. So Muhammad he made tons of false statements. All of them they are funny and stupid. So what does the Bible say about those things? Uh, you see, actually, if you if you think about it, you will see that Muhammad he always copy. I will give you an example. Uh, let me see first if we have any Abdul waiting so we can go ahead if you need if you need another if you need a you know a true Abdul go ahead and, and no it's okay so anyway uh, uh, Muhammad as an example he always copy uh, he always copy from the Bible you know and he tried to make things and things doesn't work for him so if we go to Ezekiel as an example, let me see. And type in Arabic. And by the way, the Shia scholars do say that they 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 say the Quran has different mushafs, but the, and a lot of them say it's changed, and then. Hadiths now are our people are rejecting them, so it's almost like what well, what are we going to accept at this at this point? Well, you know, for me, I don't look for different Quran. Whatever we have is funny, is stupid. No, that's what I'm saying. And we they say it. this is what this is what you have. yeah. I mean, and and that's what a lot of those Shia scholars say. They say this is what we have between our hands today, and it's what we go by. They blame they they blame Abu Bakr and. Umar al-Khattab and all these people for not preserving the Quran mm. and he had you know and so but at the end of the day okay that's that's a way to make an excuse but it's like what at the end of the day what do you trust that's the question for yourself as a, as an individual what 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 do you trust what what that's that's what I'm saying yeah well, do you trust Ja'far al-Sadiq do you trust uh you know uh the imams do you trust uh the books that are written by the by various scholars you know it's 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 complicated it, you know for all uh, for me i advise you uh it doesn't matter which which one they like because you speak to individual right every individual of them he have uh his own trust worthy let us say so the shia uh, he trusts certain books, certain names. Uh, you know, argue with them about them because it doesn't matter who they trust. It's a stupid what they trust. So each one of them, he trusts something, no problem. But no matter no matter what they trust, it's a stupid. No problem. You know, I mean, it uh, uh, doesn't matter really for me if somebody he is a Shia or a Sunni or a half Sunni or whatever. And you will find that Muslims always, in order to escape. Muhammad is stupidity, they try to avoid the hadith. Like those are the smart ones, supposedly. You know? So suddenly they will say, I don't accept the hadith. But the second you ask him, okay, who is Muhammad? He can't answer. If you don't accept the hadith, there is no answer for who is Muhammad. Correct? Exactly. And who is his and wife? About, and, and about the prayers, it's not really. There's nothing, you know, nothing. I mean, without hadith, there's, not, there's no Islam, actually. There's no Muhammad. There's no Islam. There's nothing. Who is Muhammad? Where is born? What? Uh, which tribe? Which tribe? Uh, which country? Which? Uh, because even if you say uh, Mecca, the Quran says once Mecca, once says Bakka. and Bakka is not. It cannot be Mecca. You know, if you go in the Quran, 
you will see this. And this is why uh, 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 most likely Mecca is like, let's say, a counterfeit for other city. Uh, if you go in the Quran here, I don't know if you can read with me, in chapter 3, verse number 96, it says, Be Bakka. Be means in. Bakka is the name of the city. But Bakka is, but Bakka is not the same as Mecca. Okay. Let me see that. Okay. So you have... Uh... I'm trying to find it on the screen. The first house of worship. Yeah. That was at Becca. Yeah. Becca. They, they put that in English. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. In Arabic and English. Here we go. Even, um, even in English, it says Becca. At Becca. Okay. What? What? What Becca? What is Becca? Becca. Yeah, I can read it. I can read yeah. it. Where is Becca? Where we can't find Becca? Is it Mecca or Becca? Becca and Mecca are not cities. In the, but, uh, in the no, location they are talking about, I believe that yeah. that Mecca is a counterfeit of other city. You know, it's like making La New Las Vegas. Yeah, Mecca. Okay. All right. Well. I'll, I'll keep studying, my friend. All right. Well, good to have you, uh, Jihad, and uh, let us hear you from time to time. And uh, try to invite some sheikhs to call me, and you can watch and listen and enjoy it. I will. I can. I, I don't know any personally, but uh, maybe you call I them can, in the I mosque. Maybe you call them in the mosque. Tell them, hey guys, you know somebody can somebody volunteer to debate this guy. He is making out of Muslims leave Islam. I'm I one can. Of uh... <laughs> One time I told somebody to do that, but what if they only want to do Arabic? Do you accept that? No problem. We will translate. We will speak Arabic and English at the same time. I mean, why do you want to do only Arabic? He can bring a translator with him. No problem. Because what if they don't even know English? Oh, one no time, problem. Even Arabic, I will take him. No problem. One, one time I contacted a, uh, a sheikh from Jordan. I told, I told him to get you busted. And he said, anytime, any place. He's he's ready to do it, but okay. Uh, and then and then he he never he he said send me something about this guy. I sent him a video. He never contacted back again. Uh, he exactly. <laughs> any time, any place. <laughs> That's what they do when they see what they are going to face. You know, they 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 flee. Yeah, before yeah, sure, anytime, sure, sure. You send him you send him the video about me. Now he learned what he what he's going to face. So he knew himself is no match. Oh, and the last thing then. Okay, so about and then I, another thing. I asked the sheikh, and I called him on the phone in Jordan about this a while back yeah. about the whole uh, Mandun Allahi wal Masih. Yeah, and he he told me that this is he's like he's like مثلاً في اللغة الإنجليزية عندك plus or minus. Hmm. Like you have plus and minus. Hmm. He's and so I didn't I didn't really understand that completely. <laughs> but basically what I've heard is uh, it goes back. How it goes like back, my friend. Goes, Arabic. It goes, no. it goes back. Yeah, yeah, I know, and I know, I know what they say. It goes back. Yeah, I know what they say. Yeah, they are trying basically. they are trying to fix it. What, what is that? Can you what is that? I what, yeah. what is what is that? There is that? there is no, no, what there, is that rule? There is my, my friend the, the Arabic is so clear. And isn't it the Muslim they say the Quran is so powerful? What taqdim and takhir? So it's you know in worshiping but, except in, instead of Allah and the Messiah. In, in, instead of Allah and Messiah. So if it and suddenly suddenly like he said that the Christian and the Jews they worship, they took their monks and their rabbis as God. Right? It, uh -huh. it, doesn't, it doesn't say they took their monks and and rabbis as and Jesus, you know. So you cannot jump at data and he says, "Oh, and Jesus." No, it says instead of Allah and the Messiah. Very clear. I seen that. I seen. Same that. time, by the way, this verse alone is proving that Muhammad is a fraud. Why? Because number one, if you ask the Muslims how the Christians and the Jews they took their rabbis and their monks as gods. They say by obeying them, wonderful. You have to obey only God, wonderful. So 
What the Muslim they do? They obey Muhammad. Correct? That's is, that's what I've seen. Yeah, that's not only I've that, seen. the Quran says do muta. Muhammad says don't do muta. Which one the Muslim they take? Muhammad. <laughs> So if we are worshiping our... Not even Muhammad, you know, I worked with a guy and he, he told me himself, he was an Arab guy, he said it wasn't even Muhammad who, who forbade yeah, it. This, yeah. is, this is a Muslim. Yeah, He's yeah. a Muslim. He yeah, was a Sunni Yeah, exactly. Muslim. Uthman said, and Omar. And I, and, uh... I, I, said, I said, is that permitted? Not even a prophet? Mm -hmm. He said this, I, I can't do kafiya. I can't speak on matters that right. we don't know. Right. And I, you know, and uh, uh, there's a qiyas and etc. And then there's ishtihad. And your name is jihad. So, you know, so everybody became a prophet. But this is Islam. Then they are kuffar because they are the one who took their monks and their rabbis as God. And not only that, just to show you another stupid things before you go. Uh, the, the Quran says that uh, being a monk is a fabrication. It's, 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 it is not from God. You know, is that correct? A, a, a monk is a fabrication. Yeah, it's a it's a bida, chapter fifty seven, verse number twenty seven. To be a monk, you know, to be a monk is a fabrication, which means God never ordered them to do that, to like to uh, to devote themselves to God. I thought the monks they they don't they don't get they don't have any wives they just pray all, all day long no no problem but but uh, the quran says that the uh, being monks is a fabrication the christian came with it's not from god oh to worship them no 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 no. to be a monk or to be a nun or christian nun or, or christian monk to be a person who is a monk or to be a christian nun is not from allah are you getting my point? Oh, oh, the Islamic position claims this. Yeah, yeah. So okay. it says here that the one who came with this, this is a fabrication invented, okay? Those who became, they decide to become monks, they are fabricating things. They invented that by themselves. But then we find that the same Quran saying, uh, between them there is monks who they are wonderful so it's a fabrication how it is fabrication from shaitan but they are wonderful in the same time you will see that mary she was a christian nun according to the quran you know that yeah you know, do, do, no, do you understand what i'm saying yeah i understand yeah. there's saying that the virgin mary was a nun i hear what you're saying yeah but uh, uh the, the quran uh, uh you know it says uh uh, let us see. Speaking do you accept? Do you expect? Do you accept to debate Shia scholars? No problem. We take all kind of snack. Yeah, we we take all kind of uh, Shia, not Shia. No problem. We take. If you go in the Quran. You will see it says here let's see here where we go to mary story of mary okay hold on uh, we don't want to give them a headache flipping the screen <clears throat> Okay. If we go here, what verse is it? Just give me a second. Hmm. There we go. If you go in the Quran, chapter three, verse number thirty-five. Okay, let me get it. It says that the mother of Mary she devoted her daughter to be in the service of Allah only. That's why she is a virgin. <laughs> to be in the service of all oh yeah chapter 3 verse number 35 so in one hand the stupid muhammad he says that being a monk is a fabrication invented by the christians in the same book chapter 3 verse number 35 
it says that even before Christ was born, before even his mother was born, the mother of Mary, she devoted Mary to God. And then Mary, because she is devoted to God, she been in isolation in the temple, which is not right because the Jews don't allow women to be in the temple. So uh, uh, I, I, I dictate her for your service, whatever in my womb, dictate to your, to your service. Do you see it? Yes, yeah. I see it. All right. And then because she is dictated to the service of God, what, what happened? Now she is in the mihrab, in the synagogue, not living with people, in the monastery. This is what the Quran is saying, the stupid Quran. Chapter 3, verse number 37. <laughs> Remember when the wife of Imran said, Oh my Lord, I have vowed to you what, what uh, is in my womb. And then this is the birth of Mary. Yeah. So accept this from me. Yeah. Okay. And then it's and then it says that she became a, a nun, and then it spoke, yeah, yeah. spoke bad. So about how me. how being a nun and a monk and a monk is an invention in the same book, and now Mary, she is a Christian nun devoted for God's service, and she is a virgin. That's why the Quran never spoke of Mary being married. Right. You know. I mean. And so. And 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 what I was saying earlier with. With Allah being number one, the Messiah being number two, and the prophets. Another another part of what I was starting to come into is we're not going to have any true books until the Messiah comes down and brings the books. And the, the real scrolls that we have, everything, is with Allah. And we're not going to know, you know, and basically I was just coming with right now, it's just about... It's just about praying. It's just about fasting. It's just about building up deeds and and yeah. waiting. No, that, this is this is what I was coming to. Islam is just a Islam is just a pagan a, a, a ritual with no spiritual. There's no spirituality. That's why a huge number of Muslims they run into uh, Sufism. You know, trying to find the spirituality and Sufis are not really Muslims. Yeah, no. yeah, I yeah. guess. Anyway, Jihad, good to have you, my friend. And I will All be right. happy to hear from your sheikh soon. Okay, I'll try to contact All him. Right, Thank you. Care. Good Take night. Bye-bye. Let us see. Maybe we have Muslims. I don't know. A Muslim is insulting me. Let us see. You know, life is funny, by the way. I mean, Jihad is a nice person, but he used to call me and he's upset for me and how many times I hang up on him. But, you know. Hello? Hello? If you don't answer, I will block you. Hello? Yes, my friend. Are you with me? Huh? Are you a Muslim? Fakira. Yeah, isn't it? Life is funny, my friend. Like, you know, I mean, uh, uh, how, how many times I hang up on Jihad? How many times I scream at him? How many times he scream at me? And then he agreed. I mean, there you go. Right? I don't know how many time I hang up on him, because I used to like I have patient, but he used to argue a lot, and uh, sometimes I feel like I'm, uh, you know, I'm going nowhere with this guy, but it looked like I was wrong. Yeah, you never know. You try your best, and as you see, I never say something without proof. Correct? Like now, here we go. Did I say it without proving it? I say something to him, I put it in the screen. In front of them. So one verse says the Quran, it says that being a monk or a nun is a fabrication, Rahbaniya, Tada'uha. Rahbaniya is for both. 
for mean monk and girls you know men and, and women but here we go Mary, Mary she is a she is a Christian nun <laughs> and where you know uh, she is uh, in the temple but but in the temple women are not allowed to be there she is living in the temple he come to visit her in the temple and not only that every day in the morning Allah he gave her food she know she see no man she see nobody every day every day Mary she receive food it's in front of you What Allah He gave to the mother of Muhammad every morning. <laughs> Shouldn't the Muslim I'm saying uh, you know like ask themselves some questions? All of this is about Jesus. I mean Allah Himself is serving Mary now. There's nobody have such a, you know, she is alone. And and then the story get in the wrong direction later. Suddenly, Mary who is living in the temple, nobody can see her. Suddenly she is hiding herself so nobody can see she will deliver a baby. But if she is in the temple, nobody can see her. Why she want to hide herself? Nobody opened the door on her. <laughs> Stories. Muhammad, fairy tale storytellers. Who can beat Muhammad with stupidity? Nobody. Nobody, my friend. Nobody. Uh, anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Did we have a good time? Again, don't forget to tell your friends if you have a friends from Eritrea, from Ethiopia. We have our book, Deception of Allah, translated for free uh, into that language. I want to say thank you for the word translator, by the way. Uh, because yes I am the one who gave the book for free but if not those wonderful uh, uh, brothers and sisters they do the job we will not have those books all the books I have actually all the books I have is it translated by somebody wonderful person each one of them speak different language I never met I never saw I never know is it amazing God is good my friend so uh, I don't speak German, I don't speak Spanish, I don't speak Portuguese, I don't speak uh, Russian, I don't speak Chinese, I don't speak, uh, I mean, all those languages, Indonesian, uh, but wonderful people, they do the job, and uh, uh, the Lord always send the good ones, and the good ones the good, do the good job. And at the end of the day, all of us, we serve one purpose, is to, to save mankind, bring them to Christ, for all of us, we are ambassador for him, the Lord, the Messiah. The Lord one day will come and ask you what you did, what you spend your life doing. So those who translated the books, actually, they, they will receive a huge blessing from the Lord. Now, all Ethiopian people, especially the poor ones, that's why I give those books for free. You know, uh, I want every Indonesian to, to, to learn about Islam, every Ethiopian uh, every uh, Chinese, every uh, everybody, and uh, uh, if I can afford it, I will give even the book in English. But you know, we have, we have to support ourselves a little bit, so we can pay for gas and we pay for food and we pay for whatever uh, expenses. But the Lord is our provider, and we are thankful for Him for what we have and for what we don't have. Still, we are thankful. I'm thankful for having you all. I'm thankful for people like Jihad and the other. A brother uh, who they are leaving Islam I'm thankful for the Lord giving me the opportunity to live in a time where I can speak to people from around the world in the earth and maybe soon people in different uh, even when they uh, they make a settlement in different uh, planets still they will be able to watch my videos even after my death God is good my friend and the truth will never die so the Lord is the living Lord and we as a Christian the Messiah, he promised us, 
whoever believe in me and die, he will live. So you will never die, my friend. Your death is just a temporary journey for a better place. So we as a Christian, we are happy people. We should live happy. But in the same time, we should be warrior, vigilant, and don't compromise, and don't follow what so-called leaders, unless they are true leaders. And leaders are the one who follow the Bible only, not an opinion, not a, 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 like a trend, not what people, maybe let us say the majority of people today, they support uh, homosexuality. We will not. The people majority, they support uh, sleeping around. We will not. The majority of people support, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 having sex with the children. We will not. Uh, uh, theft, maybe. We will not. I mean, we will not follow trend of this world. The Messiah, he said, I am from above, you are from below. But when you follow the Messiah, you will become from above too. Unless you want to follow the man, then you will stay and you will become from below. With the Messiah, you will be the child of God and you will belong to the kingdom of God and you will not be from below no more. The one who drink this drink, the one who eat this bread, will live. So my friend, the Messiah is our salvation, but it's just not the word to say, it is a life to live. All of us, we are sinners, we confess our sin, we fight our sin, we regret our sin, and we do our best not to do more sin. However, yes, we are sinners. But there's a huge difference between promoting sin, loving sin, and asking other people to do sin, and fighting sin. Huge difference. So be a person who fight it, against it, stand against it, stand against yourself when you do it, rebuke yourself when you do it, sit alone, think about what you are doing from time to time, so you can calculate your numbers, where are you, where you been, where are you going. With the Messiah, we are saved. Without Him, we are lost. Never follow a government, teach you false hypocrisy, protocol correctness. We belong to different king. We belong to the kingdom of Jesus, not to the kingdom of Joe Biden, or the kingdom of the Pope, or the kingdom of Muhammad, or the kingdom to whatever devil. We belong to Jesus only, and only Jesus. I say to you, may the Lord bless you, and until we see you again, Christ is Lord, and everyone else is a false God, and does not exist, and will be demolished, sooner or later. Take care.